Okay. All right. So last session, you guys uh, had spoke with uh, Pelleth and decided that after a couple communes and whatnot, that you guys were going to teleport to the second floor of the Pit of Vipers. It was one of the floors that had not been reconstructed. Uh, you went disguised as slaves, uh, Zatari being a pureblood, and Pilith being an abomination. Uh, you guys got through the second floor okay, went to the third, before you were stopped by another abomination. And at this point, things went down. Um, you guys, this is when Pilith uh, exhibited his uh, body uh, change ability to the abomination that dared stand in his way. Uh, you guys took out some of the Wanty skeletons and other abominations on the floor. However, the fighting had alerted a couple denizens on the lower floor and the upper floor, uh, which included Nith, who came downstairs. Um, you guys had a pretty long fight with more reinforcements coming through, eventually cutting down Anith, um, and thanks to Pelleth, uh, restoring Ronnie twice from petrification. Um, the mummy lich had come down and you guys took care of him rather quickly. And you guys found the relic, uh, looted super quick what you could get, and left Pilith there, uh, who had been seemingly grinning about having the heart of a mummy lord. That's about it. Uh, you guys teleported back to the keep. Uh, Chambers was in the garden doing some sweeping when she fainted because you guys just popped into existence, still disguised as different people. Um, and that is where we are currently. Uh, I believe there are some people who told me they wanted to send, uh, messages. Um, as soon as I came back, actually, I have something to send to you, Ro. You told me you wanted to message Theo, right? As soon as you got back? Yep. Yep. All right. Uh, so pretty much your message was kind of like, hey, we're here, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We're safe. Uh -huh. That kind of thing. All right. Yep. Uh, got this the is, start of dawn. Yep. This is what you get, get when you, um, this is what you receive when you get, uh, when, uh, the message has been received. Um, and... Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, with that, um, eventually, you know, there is a flurry of activity. Uh, Deacon runs down, and he's like, Deacon! And he's just, like, staring at all of you. <laughs> Okay, all I heard was Deacon. Oh, Deacon run like Deacon runs into the into the into the uh to the shrine, and yeah. sees all of you. Okay. <laughs> uh, he begins to cast. <laughs> I said I dropped it as soon okay, as. Okay, you uh, dropped it. Uh, okay, sorry. Yeah. yeah. All right, you dropped it. As soon as Chambers passed out. Alright, uh, Deacon's I started like, identifying things. And Deacon goes over to Chambers and starts like, Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> it's okay! Wake up! <laughs> Glad you're back! Wake up! <laughs> uh, let's see how he does on his medicine check. <laughs> okay, uh, eventually, uh, about, like, 30 seconds later, uh, Chambers wakes up and she's like <sighs> you <sighs> sorry about that it's 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 okay i should have expected this um d just r you guys really startled me i'm really sorry about that we could tell mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. about a uh, about like you know another minute later you hear like these giant footsteps coming towards the shrine it is uh big Ren who comes into view and he says okay i oh oh hello <laughs> false alarm i guess uh deacon says does everyone think the keep is under attack 
uh, Big Grin kind of whistles and looks away. Maybe. Just as a <laughs> point of clarification, uh, I thought they were just staying for like a day and then leaving. Nope. Apparently not. Nope. <laughs> okay. That'll be a conversation. Um, and, um, yeah. Uh, maybe they came, maybe they left and they came back. Hmm. Um, <laughs> so, um, so eventually, you know, people trickle in, into the, uh, to the shrine. Um, there is Melanie. Uh, why don't you, uh, why don't you, what's your passive perception? Uh, I think it's like 14, but let me get my character sheet open. Uh, da 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 Maybe. My sheet's loading really slow. Uh, passive perception is 17, actually. Okay. Uh... Rain, I know you have a pretty high passive uh, perception, as do the most of the rest of you. I don't. Um, <laughs> I think, but, I think yeah, mine's a 12. 23. Um, behind 23 some, as well. Yeah, behind some shrubbery, you all clearly see something moving in the bushes. Um, except for Melanie. Oh. And, and um, Zaitari. Can and, I see if it is... Um, a little... It is child size. Okay. It is it, child if size. A, is it a little, uh, cat child or a little fish child? Um, it is... It, it, it looks of the, uh, uh, pesky, uh, pesky's, uh, variety, the fish variety. Okay, fish child. Fish child. Something that is drinking a weird potion and is now both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... Oh my god. Uh, you... Yes, that happened. Uh, there That's is good. a very light weight that glomps you <laughs> from behind Melanie. I I will return the hug with vigor, but not, like, too much vigor, because, you know, it's... Don't crush the child? I, I'm not gonna smoosh the, the child. Um, you see that Shock is, uh, wearing a weird paper skull mask of some sort uh, when she glumps you. Um, <laughs> and you oh, hear... Scary. Hmm? And what? And she she's like, back! You're back! You're back! You're back! You're back! You're back! Oh, but I don't know who this is! It's somebody with a skull for a head! And she triumphantly proclaims, I am the skull master! And Ooh. you... you and and Tilda, you hear a sigh, like a laugh and a sigh. Um, as uh, Theo comes around, he's kind of sheepishly like scratching the back of his head. And he says, uh, yeah, we were um, playing uh, uh, raiding the Skullmaster's Keep and Hide and Seek at the same time. It's, it, they, they, they wanted to play, so uh, I of indulged course, them. Of course, darling. Of course. And it's so much more efficient when you do them both at once. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 <laughs> we had a wonderful time. Um, you also, you guys also noticed that Shadok is sporting some new, uh, some new threads. Um, nice. Just, um, yeah. uh, just some, like, regular, uh, play clothes. Uh, that's, she's already gotten dirty. There's already multiple dirt spots on them. Um... Uh, pastries comes by. She is also sporting a very similar but more finely drawn uh, skull mask made of paper. Um, uh, but yeah, um, people gather. Um, I the give Theo a big kiss. <laughs> he returns it. Uh, mm -hmm. He is very, everybody's very relieved that you are back. Uh, Demeter mm -hmm. eventually comes down with per Persephone. Um, yeah, uh, what would you guys like to do? I know there's a few people that had stuff they wanted to do in these two weeks. Some messages to send, etc., etc. 
Um, I know that like before we even leave this room, I'm going to uh, to sit down. So I'm the height of Shattuck, and uh, I'm going to say, I didn't find anything too amazing, but I found something you might like huh? when we were in the jungle. Huh? And I'm going to pull out the shiny iridescent shell from a really large bug. <laughs> okay. Uh, she is delighted. She's like, what's this? What did it do? Where did it come from? What's the name of this I, thing? I, I answer all the questions as best as I can. And if I can't answer them, I make them up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, fair enough. That big dead energy. And I did pretty <laughs> well at making some random stuff up about that bug. <laughs> Just roll the performance. I don't know what I said about it, but it was persuasive and amazing, apparently. Okay. Uh, Sherlock <laughs> is very, very excited about this new uh, new piece that you have brought her. Um, okay. Um, but she has a million and one questions about the uh, about your adventure uh theo will, will s tell you after uh after the kissing has uh commenced <laughs> temporarily um he explains to you till well she arrived uh she's a very inquisitive child um i actually took her around the city uh for a few hours and i may have bought more than i i hope you're not too crossed with me and i you know, I didn't want to overstep my boundaries, but she's very persuasive, and we bought a few things for her. And he kind of turns slightly um, when he says a few things. God. <laughs> um. Hopefully, Uncle Theo. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm I mean, it's not me you have to be uh, worried about being cross. It's her potentially spoiling her child. Yeah, I know. their child. Yeah, um, yeah, so, I mean, I, I am more than willing to take back, uh, to, re re to uh, get a, a return on the, the rocking horse, the toy sword, the two trunks loads of clothes. I can't, <laughs> I can't return the, the pastries and the rock candy. Those are, have already been ingested. I'm certain... It as long as it's not a uh, <clears throat> habit. Oh no 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 no! She just had um, Theo say he, she just had so many questions, and it was, well, it was it was very clear that she's never been in the city before. So I wanted to show her what Valido had to uh, to offer. Um, I think we can indulge this indulgence. Uh, indulge. This she indulgence. did such a favor. <laughs> Uh, such a favor with you. Thank you. No worries. No problem. She was. She was. She was delightful. Um, I'll I'll, I'll look at uh, oh God, Tilda, and say mm -hmm. practice and wink. <laughs> <laughs> There's just like a <clears throat> um kind of a not yeah. that you'll not that I mean you. Eventually, things aren't going to be as uh, gaily. Move on, darling. Sure. Um, oh, well, did you tell him the good news? I hmm? did, yes. Um, the, we got the thing? Mm -hmm. and, and yeah, Theo goes... Uh, I believe Zaitari. Do you have it? Uh, I do, yes. Um, shall we go to your home or bring your father here? Um, I think it would be wise, Theo says, to go there. Um, he hasn't moved around much, um, and I don't know, un unless we sedate him, I don't know what it's going to be like moving him, unless you can like instantly teleport him here but i mean we might as well just go there at that point i think that's sensible okay well well uh, yeah uh, we should see what would happens would you would you rather have company in case anything goes wrong or would you rather 
do this uh, on your own, you two. Tilda looks to Theo. Um, do you think something would go wrong? Like, what do you think could go wrong? I don't really know. It's magic. It confuses me. Oh. Uh. Um, well, we did have a, a moment on um, the ship down to Haven, where when we found Shattuck, and uh, Ronnie tried to um, do some sort of spell on her, and it damaged some people. Yes. So, that might be a possibility in terms of, we don't know exactly what's going to happen. Mm. I'm willing say, to go with you. Uh, you should definitely, I think, take uh, Ronnie with you. Um, just because he's able to uh, deal with many ailments. Should they have anything strange occur? Theo says, I that that's a very good um that's a very good point um mm -hmm. ronnie would you be willing to come with us yeah yeah okay I, I really have a whole lot else i wanted to do so i i'm at your service oh thank you very much ronnie it's very much appreciated it'll take a little while to get there but yeah you guys can well, you guys will start your journey um, to the Loyalar estate. All right. I presume Zaitari gives one of us the yeah, charge of Dawn before we leave. Yeah, I'll give okay. it to Tilda. All right, so, I will, so you guys are headed that way. Um, Ronnie's only the way is he would like to find Tilda uh, not long after... <laughs> He agrees to go, and he'll just ask him. Um, I don't know how long the journey is going to take or anything like that, and I don't presume to, you know, that you'd help me, but I was wondering if you could uh, maybe help me start making some headway on the whole read it and write it. Oh! Um, yes, of course, if you so desire. Um. I would, I would appreciate some help with it, yeah, I don't... I don't really know where to start. Um, well, when we get back to our keep, um, we have a delightful librarian that you may want to meet. Um, I'm sure he will know, they will know. Uh, I'm sure they will know where to start. Um, I'll... I'll do that then. Okay. Awesome. All right. Uh, we'll go down the line. Um, Between us, we'll know where to stop. <laughs> uh, Rain, what would you like to do? Uh, this is the, over the whole two week thing? Um, so this is a, just the beginning. So I'm just going person by person right now. Um, so there, uh, Ronnie, Theo, and Tilda are on the way to lo the lawyer keep. Um, does anybody want to do anything in the immediate future? Um, I guess the next day is when I'm going to send all of my sendings okay. that I messaged you. Yep. Uh, because I have to swap that spell out. Um, and then the day after, I think, is when I'm going to go on my two-day teleport journey mm -hmm. to try and buy those uh, let me see I know I have it written down you sent me the message uh, so yeah, yeah. I, I do have I do have that all written down okay the glow vine yep that's it. Ooh. yeah just tell me how Thank much you. they are okay and I'll mark it off all right um, cool uh... though if anybody wants to go with me on a trip to Vox that's a two-day adventure because uh, I can't teleport myself there and back again in one day. So. I mean, it depends on when you go. Tilda would go with you, but, you know. She's I was going to try to get it taken care of quickly, so. 
Because okay. isn't isn't Tegan there? Tegan is there. Yeah, I would uh, yeah. not tell him I'm coming. Show up and say, hey, you want to come to the keep? <laughs> okay. <laughs> of course. I can teleport us back now. <laughs> That's right. I can come to you whenever I want. Um... Okay. Um, and Melanie and Rain. I know there's a couple things, Rain, you wanted to do, and I sent you some stuff. Yeah. Um, so I'm probably going to, like, you know, drop off all the other stuff I had to Demeter. You okay. know, the Cold Shark Land. I'm like, uh, I'll help you work on this over the next couple of weeks, but uh, just to make sure it gets preserved and everything, get that started, you know? Um, uh, Demir uh, just, said, yeah. yeah, Demir's like, yeah, it's no problem. Um, I hope my notes that uh, I've shared with you are, they're, they're a good starting point uh, for a lot of the things you've given me. Um, I think with some more tests, uh, we can find the Titan parts you gave me show the greatest amount of promise. However, yes, we do have to find a counter agent for the... Um, the side effects. I should definitely give some to Mel because she needs to be stronger. Obviously. Oh shit! <laughs> I and you already see Demeter is like, uh, how much stronger does this woman need to be? Um, <laughs> um, if possible, I'd love to test this against a um, side effects compared to a you know a cloud giant or a storm giant uh, potion. Uh, but as far as I can tell, the effects probably will be greater than, <laughs> than that. Uh, but, of course, the side effect of the uh, sheer exhaustion is the, the main concern. And okay. I'm not exactly sure how to counter that currently. Yeah, we might see whether we can make it either last long enough that the exhaustion doesn't matter, or some way to, as you said counter it but mm. uh, that's something we'll have to look into yeah right now it's quite a, extensive. right now it's a two minute it seems the effect lasts for two minutes which might be good if you're in a pinch in a battle but you're pretty much out afterwards and uh, one never knows what strange uh, reactions you have been experimenting. Uh, we'll have to go over what this one health potion did while we were away. Oh, <laughs> oh, of course. I can take a take a look at it. I have a few other um, mm. some mice. We can we can try it on. Um, of course, I hand it over and I say, mm. and I kind of go into the story. And oh. it turned into a catfish. <laughs> Okay, weird. No, it was both, not a catfish. It was a cat that was a fish and the fish that was a cat. Oh. It was really weird. Oh, wow. That's that very... seemed to be its true form, which hmm. was interesting. No, it's very interesting to see what it does to, like, um, one of our, uh, one of the flies, or... You might want to be here for that, just in case something needs to be, um... And she makes mm. the, you know, slicing of the throat motion... You know, whacking with the newspaper. <laughs> yeah. Um. I mean, that... oh fuck! It's true form as a T Rex. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, there goes the keep. Um. Yeah. Uh, you or some you or somebody else should be there for it. Um. Oh, by the way, uh, I hope you won't be too crossed with me. So I actually had um Deacon help me with some of the uh. Some of the experiments while you were away uh hence why oh, he's hence, hence why he was here a little longer than you had all anticipated um he actually has a pretty good fountain of knowledge um that's how i knew uh that's how he told me about the fire lichen um so maybe you can sell that for like a pretty good like spice um <laughs> He wanted to eat some of these things. I had to tell him no. I don't know how your friend has been alive for this long. <laughs> well, I'm not really sure either, but thankfully he is, and he has all this uh, gathered knowledge to impart upon him. I think your friend is just exceedingly lucky. Like, wherever he goes, he just has this, you know, mass amount of luck that just 
follows him around during the some time. time. Yeah. I'm in luck. We'll get you very far. Yep. Um, but yeah, we could talk about uh, what you have found. And I can tell you about that, KK. And in a bit, yeah. I wrote down what you found. Uh, so, a few rolls, and we'll see what those things can do. Uh, Melanie. Yes. Okay, so earlier today, I came to the realization what I am is my mom has a cabinet that has all kinds of medicine in it and stuff from left over from when it was prescribed. That's what writing is. Just, I collect all this shit, and one of these days, we're going to need it, you know? Yeah, yeah. And when we need it, yeah. we're going to have it. <laughs> one day. One day, one you day. will need this. Um, yeah, Melanie, what would you like to do? In the meantime, um, so in the in the very beginning, I'm obviously going to spend some time. Uh, I'll talk to Shadok, make sure that she's settling in, and speak with Pastry, and like possibly play some of this raid the Skull Lord thing. Okay. Uh, and then um, after uh, after that, I'm going to uh, probably head into. Into town, and I'm gonna try to find a tutor. Okay. Um, um, but that's kind of like a in the next few days type deal. Okay. Um, Shadok will show excitedly. Uh, so Chambers, uh, you've learned from Shadok, uh, has already have she has her own room now. Um, sh- uh, Chambers was more than helpful in prov- you know setting up a room for her once she realized who she was. Um, right. and Shadok will very excitedly show her, show you her new room. It's still sparsely furnished, um, other than the things that Theo had bought for her, and Chambers mm-hmm. have, has found, like, you know, scattered through, like, the key, what could be used as, like, temporary furniture until, you know, proper child furniture can be, you know, bought or built for her. Uh, mm-hmm. but you do see a very, uh, beautifully, um carved rocking horse uh that is actually you don't know how he found this but it's actually a rocking seahorse so (gasps) she's got that (laughs) um uh she has uh two trunks of clothes uh most of the clothes are of like are a little on the plainer side. Um, they look like, you know, they're your typical, you know, play clothes, rough housing clothing. Um, she has maybe like one or two like very simple dresses. Um, couple pairs of shoes of a couple varieties. Um, there are some candy wrappers around that have not been cleaned by chambers yet. Um, Mm -hmm. this was probably consumed over the past day or so, uh, probably, there's a little bit of a sugary substance in, uh, Shadok's hair as well, so she kind of went ham on, uh, the new food. Uh, she does have, like, a variety of, um, also other toys, blocks, uh, toy soldiers, dolls, she it looks like she didn't know like she, anything she saw and didn't she explains she didn't know about like Theo just bought for her so she could experience <laughs> it her, um herself um but oh. yeah there's a lot of there's a there's a good amount of stuff uh i am very glad that you were able to see some of these different things that's wonderful uh i will say <laughs> that Theo might need to uh, take it a little easier next time, but uh, so are you yes? I wanted, so I wanted, and she points to the rocking horse, so I saw one of those, but like the ones on land and I wanted one but Theo said I had to ask you first so you'd rather have one that was a regular horse well, yeah, horse. Uh, I, I oh, wanted... no, a, a real horse. Yeah. Yeah, she wants a real oh. horse. Oh, well, <laughs> tell you what. How about we work on some riding lessons first? Okay. And then when you're older, we'll maybe see about, you know, a horse of your own. But first, you're going to have to learn. Okay. And so, does that mean, like, 
all animals until I'm older because I saw these really uh the, the fluffy fluffy animals like they they were like they had four legs like that but they she like makes a like the droopy ear motion on her head um they were, they, some of them were really fluffy she makes well, a barking sound can i have one of those <laughs> see first you will have to make sure that you're able to be responsible for other things okay so things like candy wrappers oh oops no it's okay but once you are once we're settled in and you're we're able to make sure that you're able to take care of things then we can go into town and maybe look at uh finding a fluffy thing in the meantime there are multiple kitty cats in the inn oh you mean those things that hiss <laughs> oh well, sometimes you have to be very cautious when you approach them and be kind. So you have to be gentle. Maybe we can go and spend some time with them and, and we can see if we can make friends. So that means not trying to take their food. Yes. Oh, yes, that oops. is important. Oh. No, it's okay. I'm sorry. You, you do not have to be sorry. You didn't know. I just wanted to try it. I'm assuming it was not very tasty. I mean, it was okay. Oh, well, I guess that's good. <laughs> I don't, I don't really know. I, anyway, uh. I mean, it, it tasted better than some of the stuff I've had before. It's Lando. probably just scraps from the tavern, after all, Melanie, it's not like. Purina right. <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't know what Purina is. I was, I was literally thinking of cat food, and I was like, oh, good lord. But yeah, it would be scraps. Whew, makes a lot more sense that she's eating. Well, ugh, tavern scraps. Okay. Uh, let's maybe... Uh, we can we can work on some, some work some with the cats. But oh. yes, they do tend to get a little feisty if you take their food. Okay. But... You know, we can also maybe try some, maybe uh, there's a day that we can go into town and we can try some different foods from uh, different areas and see if there's some sorts of, uh, you know, people food that you might enjoy. Okay. Instead of the cat food. Yeah, Theo Theo had me try, uh, I tried some when I asked uh, Theo and, you know, there was a lot. <laughs> there's so you much. You try something that wasn't sweet, at least one thing, right? That wasn't candy? Um, you see her think... Well, there was this thing, it looked like a wizard's hat, and it was red, but I didn't like it. A w wizard hat? It looked like a, wi a small wizard hat. Huh. I don't know what that might have been, but I'm sure that it was not poisonous. It, it just got made my mouth really hot. Oh! Oh, like a pepper! Is that what it is? Okay. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Not really certain. But. Oh, uh, we'll definitely. We, I bet Theo would know. So maybe when he comes back next time, which I'm sure he'll come back today or tomorrow or sometime near, but near soon, we can see what different things you ate. So we can know what you like and don't like. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, okay, and I am somehow blanking. I how old do we think this kid is? Uh, she. It's hard to say, but she might be like maybe six, maybe seven. Okay. Anywhere from five to seven. You're. You, it's, I, it's and I think that guess. we asked, and she wasn't sure. Right? Yeah, she was not Correct. sure. Okay. Uh, so Shattuck, mm -hmm. I was going to see if we could find somebody to teach you some things, uh, because. Okay. I'm very good at things like swords, but, I mean, there's more to life than swords, a little bit. And, uh, so, do you know how to, uh, do you know any letters, or reading or writing? She looks very confused. I will pull something written out of my bag. I'm sure that I've got, 
I mean, I have a cartography kit. I'm sure that I have like some notes or something in it. And I'm just going to kind of like be like, do you, have you done anything like this before where you, you have things written down like this? She looks very frightened all of a sudden. Oh no, are you okay? I, you're, you're not going to put that on me. No, this is a note about what that map looks like. It was, uh, this is talking about, there was a hill. It was kind of shaped like a bean. It was beside the other hill that was shaped very pointy. She, like, kind of, like, unconsciously starts rubbing her arms. Um, they... Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. It, you don't use, like, pointy things to put... Oh... I mean, some people do that because they want to, but only, you know, if they want to look different. You, it's not gonna hurt? Uh, here, uh... <laughs> I think she means tattoos, but I'm not sure. Uh, and I'll just kind of take a pen and some blank parchment out, and I'll say, so, let me just show... Here, I'll write my name, and I'll write out my name, and see, and I'll say, see, it's just on the paper. It's not on anybody. So no skin, no, like she's like motioning to like your sword. No, 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 no. It's just, just, it's just, just on just... that. Yes, yes, just on here. It's so, um, so if I want to tell something to Rain, but she's not around, I can write something on this piece of paper, and I can stick it up in, in a spot where she see it, and then she can see it later. Or pickpocket it off of me. It's <laughs> possible. Alright, uh, she looks a little that. more relieved <laughs> now. Okay. Yes. Oh, yes, no. Um, but I was, I was going to have, uh, maybe somebody who could help uh, help you learn some things like this and uh i just didn't know if you were familiar with it but you know what we will make sure that they uh they start from the beginning and i promise nobody is going to get poked with any swords or very sharp pens no one's writing on you promise okay okay and I will give her a just such a big hug. And like when she's not seeing my face, I'm just like, oh poor baby. <laughs> okay. So you guys talk and you know, pastries will eventually come in and like share with uh you guys like the games they've played one when you guys were away. Um all right. Uh so one thing. Okay. Um all right, let's go back to Tilda, Ronnie, and Theo. So it takes a couple odd hours uh, until you guys reach uh, the uh, Laurel Estate. It is, well, it's more pristine than the way you left it last time. Um, uh, everything has been cleaned up. The landscaping around the area is now prim and proper. There's some um, nice, uh, nice shrubs of some horses and dragons, and uh, somebody's really in. Uh, somebody's really into their. Uh, is it topiary? Topography? Topiary. Topiary. Topiography. Yeah. Topiography. Yeah. yeah. Um, Theo explains uh, there was a. They have a new gardener. Um, he's very enthusiastic about his hedges. Um, to the point where Theo does not have the heart to tell him maybe some just regular like box hedges, hedges would be fine. But he, he's just like, you know, he's so enthusiastic about his work, he just lets him go at it. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's not harming anybody. Um uh you guys he tells so just to be uh just to prepare you ronnie uh theo tells you that uh his father has been mostly in his own separate bedroom um he you know he, theo visits him maybe once twice a day just to make sure he's comfortable fine sometimes he'll read to him 
Um, he explains that he doesn't get really any, res like, really notable responses. Maybe, a, like, you know, a hand touch here and there. But he doesn't seem to be completely aware of the world around him. Um, he's not sure exactly what to make of that. Um, he, I mean, for all intents and purposes, he's been eating, he, and he puts in quotes, eating fine, um, what, what they can feed him, um, does better yes. with non-solids. Hmm? Nothing. I'm just imagining this poor man has just had the most fucked up time. Yeah. Uh, oh, yes. Um, is there any, are there any questions you want to ask, Ronnie, about his condition? Um, I'd like to know what's already been attempted. Okay. Um, Theo tells you that greater restorations have been attempted. Um, he had some uh, people attempt that. That didn't work. Um just some had ha, just had some clerics just give him like the once over once or twice over to see if anything within their capabilities that could be done um from your understanding ronnie uh these would be clerics of uh, not uh whose capabilities are below yours um they had thought about they thought maybe maybe some reconstructive surgery might be the next step, um, but given his condition, it might be a little risky. And as 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 far as restoring the mind goes, that's a little harder, since he'd been broken for a period of months at that point. Um, they they weren't. Exactly. The, the 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 clerics he had brought in and the doctors he had brought in uh, were not exactly sure where they could start on that. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's that's where they are right now. Uh, eventually, you guys go past the gates. Um, the servants of the estate, uh, you know, greet you, uh, take you off the, um, I assume horse, horses <laughs> and carriage or cart that you guys, uh, rode in on. And, sure. mm -hmm. uh, and a, a steward, uh, greets you, um, Wardlow and, you know, tells you newly hired. Um, been in the business for about, you know, passively, Theo says he's been around, uh, the no noble estates for like 15 years. So that's why he pretty much hired, rehired new staff once all that chiz went down. Mm -hmm. Um, um, Wardlow explains that, um, you know, everything at the estate is you know, as normal, um, when asked about, uh, Theo's father, um, uh, Wardlow says that, uh, there hasn't been anything out of the ordinary with, uh, with, uh, Lord Griswold. Um, he is pretty much the same as he's been for a while. Um, Theo requests Wardlow that people should stay out of that wing, um, for probably the rest of the day, and Wardlow, uh, tells Theo, of course, uh, of course, my lord, uh, I would send a message, uh, right away, and Wardlow, um, goes off to tell, you know, the servants, you know, stay away from that area for the rest of the day. Um, Theo guides you to the second floor, um, there are a beautiful array of tapestries uh, depicting the uh, history, family history of the Loyalar family. Um, a couple of them are 
in um, in the state of disrepair. Uh, there are some that had been damaged uh, during the uh, this uh, the the Civil uh, War period. You guys had um, battled in. Um, so some of those have also the more uh, di ones in disrepair have been taken down and sent to um, to uh, to be repaired by uh, some a couple tailors. Um, some of the ones that would have depicted the rivalry between the Loyola and Galantara um, rivalry have also been taken down um, hmm. for now. Uh, who, um, if you ask, like Theo will mention that those have also been taken for repairs, but he also maybe wanted to talk to you about them, whether or not you still wanted them hung up. He is fine yeah. with either answer. Um, and he would definitely replace them with something more tasteful. Um, maybe finding some things uh, with the auction coming up. Mm. Um, you guys are led to a um, to a very spacious uh, bedroom. Um, you would probably, you know, know till this is one of the um, more grander guest rooms, and mm. it is it's sparse. It's, it's sparse for a noble's bedroom. Um, there's a bed, uh, there's, uh, some chairs, um, a chamber pot, um, washing basin, um, there was, there looks like there was, um, a plate, there is a place outside, uh, to put, like, a tray of food, but there's no tray present, probably clean up, uh, during mm -hmm. the day, and sitting on the bed, kind of, if he had a face, staring off into the distance is Theo's father. Um, he doesn't... He, he's mumbling to himself, but he doesn't make any notion that all of you had entered the room. And, um... Ronnie, you see... a man. Um, an older man. Uh, lack of a better description. Uh, this is like the movie Face Off. Um, it's been healed over as best as they could, but essentially he doesn't really have a face. Um, disfigured nose. Um, they've healed up uh, his skin as best they could. Um, he has like two little flat nostrils for breathing. Um, but more or less, he is is very horribly disfigured. Um, I'm sorry, I only laughed because I thought of Voldemort. <laughs> I guess that's pretty close. Fairly Except close. Except no eyes. Except no eyes. Um, and not as pale. Lots of scar tissue. Um, you do notice, Ronnie, that he does have multiple markings on his arms and hands. Um, the, the skin that is, uh, the limbs that are exposed, um, probably easy to notice, uh, signs of previous torture. Um. I'm going to glance at Tilda and then just lean over real quick and I know you went in my back up with this, but did you also want me to try and, I, for lack of a better term, regrow some stuff? Um, do we want to, uh, Theo says, I, I'm not sure, should we try the relic first, or Ronnie, should, would, would, should we try your expertise first? I'm going to leave it to you two, you've been doing all the research. I know you want my floor here, but I did pursue that spell just in case. Did you try... Um, any sort of regeneration spells, darling? Um, I couldn't get any, um, I don't think so. No, I didn't, because there wasn't anybody I could find in the vicinity that had that ability. 
It's right. fairly powerful magic, so it makes sense. Um, and unfortunately, the it, it wouldn't um, help his mind, would it? I also prepared um, heal, my most powerful healing option, and I also prepared a res. Um, begging your pardon, uh, Ronnie, neither of those heal the mind, do they? Uh, I've never tried it with heal. I Try mean, the relic. Okay. Um, I, I hand him the shards of dawn. So what exactly am I supposed to do? You tell me, darling. You, you're the one who um, sought these out. Well, Do I know what um, the process would be for... I can't remember um, if I do, so... Did you attune to it? Or would you like to... You identified it. I believe. I identified it, yes. So, the process um, would be... The process would literally be... So, the Shards of Dawn is made out of uh, those uh, rays around the sun uh, as a mm -hmm. holy symbol. You noticed while you were identifying it, it's pretty clearly obvious that some of those uh, shards that represent the rays have been broken off. Mm -hmm. Um... With your and identify uh, this, uh, it tells you that in order for you to use um, to to cure somebody of their affliction or afflictions, one of the shards has to be broken off of the of the relic, and it has to be either fed or inserted in some way into the victim victim God, patient damn. victim whatever you want to call it the recipient um, he has a mouth he yes, does have he a has mouth. A, like a hole for yes food. yes yep yep consumption um then i will say uh break off one of the pieces and feed it to him Okay. Um, he Theo will um, take the um, shards of dawn. Do you want us here? I would prefer you both to be here, just in case. And he kind of he looks of at he looks at Ronnie. I'm not sure what you could do if he looks like he's going through a lot of pain. That I don't want him to go through that, but. I'm not sure if, if he kind of trails off. If regrowing his face is going to be Yeah, painful. very <laughs> painful. He's like, I... Uh, I... I brought some healing spells. Okay. Um, and that's what I got. If he passes out, I can stabilize him. And that might be best for him if it's painful. Um, and if he reacts very poorly i do i did bring the means to bring him back okay okay um theo will take uh will break off one of the rays mm -hmm. um tilda's he... going to like move so that she's not immediately visible to um theo's father edgar mm -hmm. um so that she's kind of behind Theo yeah. uh, you know yeah um he will very he will you know quietly say hey hi father um well it's it's time for uh it's time you know he he says in a very gentle voice it's it's time for your next meal um you know and you know he's you know Edgar's babbling away like quietly mm -hmm. to himself so he doesn't really understand um he 
Theo will in quietly insert the shard into his mouth. The shard seems to melt into liquid as soon as it's inserted into his mouth. And you see Edgar swallow. Um, on, I need... Okay. Um, Jesus. Uh, so... There is a brilliant light that seems to go, you know, that seems to glow as he swallows the liquid. Um, it's almost too bright to look. It's it's as if you're looking into into the sun at this point. Um, mm -hmm. It's it's very hard. It's hard to you know keep your eyes focused on this person um there is a as if there is the sh it sounds like around you there is the the shatter of glass there is sound that is you know like all all the sounds come in at once it's too high pitch to really focus it's too low to really sense there is a rumbling in the ground the air itself seems to like crackle and pierce and there's just light that starts flooding the entire room it feels like there is a force within this room that hardly can be contained um and there is a pressure, like this great pressure that f almost forces everybody to, like as if the gravity in this room is getting stronger and stronger and stronger and you can hardly keep your, keep your, um, you know, stand upright. And in, in this case, like Theo is less, like, like, you know, holding the bed, trying to like, to stabilize himself. Um, but it's, but it's just at that point where it's almost too much to bear, but you all can bear it. Um, there is a light that starts infusing into Edgar's body. And then you see parts of his facial features starts to form from this light you see wounds the wounds on his on his exposed limbs start closing up you see essentially like his natural his body is reforming and it seems like an eternity until everything just crescendos and gets to a point where it's so it's so loud in here in your in your it sounds like it's even in your own head that it's almost hard to stand and then everything stops and there is silence the light fades the noise stops the gravity in the room seems to return to normal everything in the room is still it doesn't seem like anything happened to the objects in the room. It, maybe it was probably all this, all these visuals, all this noise, all this pressure was, it, it seems like in your head because nothing in the room has changed except Edgar is himself again. And he opens his eyes and Theo looks at him and you hear from his lips he says my my son and at that point he passes out and Theo moves in to catch him but he would have no, fell on the bed anyways. <laughs> I'm gonna go help. Yeah, I'll lay him down. Give him once over to make sure he's stable. Um, make a quick medicine check. All 
All right. It's 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 very clear uh, that this uh, process process uh, is exhausting. Um, in game terms, he'd probably be at level four or five exhaustion. It took that much out of him. Um, but he is stable. Um, it seems like he is, other than the exhaustion, he is fine. He just probably needs rest. Yeah, I'll relate it to the end. It's like, give him like a week of bed rest and then introduce him to things like walking around and salt foods and stuff again slowly. But he should be fine. He looks fine. And, you know, Theo is... He's he's still just holding his that his father, and he says, "Thank you, Ronnie." I'll give you some time. I'll be out in the hallway if you need anything. Thanks. Um, thanks. If you need anything, just tell Wardlow to you know just ask him. He'll he should be around. Um, if you do see him, just tell him it's you know okay for the servants to come back into the wing. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I I really appreciate it. I didn't do much, but I was happy to be here regardless. <sighs> and just Theo uh, just sits there when as Ronnie walks out. Yeah, Tilda watches Ronnie go and then kind of um, approaches Theo, just kind of like uh, kneels next to him. He, he looks normal. He, he seemed to recognize me. I, I don't want to be too hopeful. <sighs> Not until he wakes up, at least. It seemed to work. Right? Yes. The, as far as I can tell, he recognized you. He has grown his face back he, he, like Ronnie said we, we should just let him rest yeah we yeah. need to let him rest <sighs> yeah um, I'm gonna tell <sighs> and you know at that point he just like slowly sits up Theo does? Yeah, Theo or, sits up. Okay. Um, um, he, you said you I was were, like, oh god. He, yeah, he Edgar. says you were uh, kneeling, so he, um, yeah. you know, he helps you up. And he's, you know, he walks, you know, he walks out the door with you and he says, I wonder if she remembers anything, like, after. I mean, we won't know until he wakes up, right? I, I assume. Mm-hmm. Most likely not. I, I don't think a comatose man can uh, recollect anything. I don't know what you went through to find that thing. It was nothing, really. N no, no, of course it was. You you went somewhere and found it and brought it home. I I could never thank you enough. You are you are absolutely amazing. And I just hope I can just see Eldrick. <laughs> Much as I love when you sing my praises. Um, or to hear my praises sung in any capacity. Um, I mean, it wasn't just me. I know. I know it wasn't just you. I, and I, I, will I, would have done, I would have made that choice a thousand times over. For you. I know. I just hope I can. There's... 
I just hope whatever I... You're, no, whatever you're thinking about repayment or thanks or anything, it's unnecessary. That's not important. It's not why I did it. I just... I will never stop thanking you. But... And I will never stop telling you it's not necessary. <laughs> I'll have... I'll, I'll, I will thank your, 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 your friends as well, um, once... They might need it. <laughs> Ronnie got turned to stone. Twice. Oh. He's like, oh. Shh. But oh, he's God. here. I'm glad he's better. Oh, dear. Um, oh, he God. also got uh, covered in some dragon spawn eggs. That sounds horrific. Horrific. It really was. That sounds terrible. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean to make a statue of him, or at least a shrubbery. <laughs> at least. I think the statue might be a bit on the nose and a little bit of a faux pas. Okay, shrubbery it is. <laughs> um, but, uh, how are you feeling? How are you doing? I know you told me, you know, don't worry about you know, you getting it, but are you okay after getting this and holds up the shard, Don? Who, which he returns to you at that point. Um, I I'll take it, but I kind of. Um, I mean. It's always much more stressful when it happens. Um, there were a few moments in the temple that, um, I'll be honest, I wasn't sure if I was going to make it out. I felt very not myself that day, but it still, um, I'm sorry you went through that. Again, it's nothing, <sighs> dearest. I, I'm. I would do it a thousand times, a billion times over. To. To get you. And your father. Reunited. To reunite you with your father. That's. What's important? <sighs> well, as if Zaitari was puppeting me. It was weird. <laughs> well, you are an absolutely amazing person. And I will never stop thinking I of you. <laughs> I assume you haven't had, like, a real meal since Ugh, you got back. God, no. Should I, should, so, how about, yes. alright, and then maybe later I can really show my appreciation for you? I think that could be arranged. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Cool. Do -do -do. Mm. All right, Ronnie. <laughs> so you have left. <laughs> uh, where do you exactly go once you walk out? Uh, I just wait in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know this place. I don't know anybody here. I don't know where I'm allowed to go, where I'm not allowed to go. So oh. I'm just 
everything. At that point, like, as, as Thea's walking down there, oh, shit, Ronnie! Yep. <laughs> Rodney, do you want to come down to the dining room with us? Get some food? I, if it wouldn't be an imposition, if you want, I can just... Of course not. Come, oh. come on, come on, let's go. Rodney, darling. Alright, thank you for having me over for dinner. <laughs> Total soup. I'm kidding. <laughs> the O's <just> like... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright, so you guys have dinner. Um, so I tarry, I assume you rest. Uh, eventually send your messages. You get mm -hmm. your messages. Um, pretty much like, pretty much just going to sleep to go shopping the next day in Vox? Yeah, basically. Okay. I mean, I'm going to spend the day that I sent all of those messages just fucking relaxing. Okay. Uh, Extra time in the bath. Okay. Time in the tavern. Playing music. You know. Yep. Time with the cat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course. So, uh, and then after that you go to sleep for tonight? Yeah. Alright. Why, well, something happened when I sleep? Mm-hmm. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. So... When you go to sleep... I have a wonderful night. You have a Nothing wonderful... Happens. You have a wonderful <laughs> night. Um, you go to sleep, and you seem to be... You feel like you wake up, but you, when when you open your eyes, you definitely know it's a dream. Uh, there is a glade, um, but like an elven glade you've read in the movie, the movies, but the colors seem very muted. Um, if this was the Feywild, if this was the Feywild, uh, you ex you expect you know explosions of color everywhere like you like you witnessed when you were there, but all the all the everything just seems muted. Sounds of birds, the sounds of other beasts in the woods, the wind itself, even the sun that's shining through the the trees is like a soft. Like, a soft glow instead of that harsh light you expect in midday. Um, you hear... You know... You did pretty well back in that, uh, back in that temple. Um, the voice you hear is... You can't tell. It's neither male or female. Uh, or masculine or feminine, I would should say. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it, there's a voice. The voice says, "You did very well back in that temple there, especially you know how you and your friends got rid of the mummy lich." Um. Mm hmm. Yes. Uh, would you kindly reveal yourself to me so I don't have to just listen to your mysterious voice? <sighs> I'm afraid if I show myself, you'll be very crossed at me. Do it anyways. All right. I don't really care. You're the one interrupting my sleep. I have important places to be tomorrow. I know you do. I know you do. Um, do I recognize this voice? Roll a insight check. Oh, don't make me. <laughs> I may have it so high, but I always roll like shit. Okay. You do not. Okay. Um. The person that reveals themselves is a... Stepping from, um... A cluster of trees in the distance. Is a shadowy figure. Um... Again, uh, neither feminine nor masculine. 
I am... I think the best way to put it is I am the physical embodiment of the Raven Queen's choice. Yeah, Zaytari will kind of snap and say, ah, hmm. slightly familiar. Slightly familiar. And I had just a small guess because, <laughs> well, I'm not uh, with, Nick, with Nick Nevin and I really don't know any other powerful beings that could just pull me into some strange dream, so... She's pretty happy with you. Um, so Nick Nevin? Well, the Raven Queen. Mm, she doesn't yes. really like the undead. Uh, Pilleth is not quite undead, but he uses them to his own gain. It would have been great if you could get rid of him, but you know, circumstances. Yes, not, yeah, not ideal, but well. Um, so... <laughs> Uh, as a reward for your services against the undead, um, hmm. the uh, the Raven Queen would like to, let's say, give give you a small small boost to your current uh, relic. Oh, lovely! Um, I'm gonna sh give this to you, but when you um. If, uh, so I think a demonstration will be, uh, pretty good. You just stand right there. Don't come any closer. Um, you see the shadowy figure moves to a, a cluster of flowers. Um, there's a couple bees, some, some butterflies. Um, the figure waves their hand in a, you know, just a, very slight motion you see around them the shadows start to coalesce forming what look like claws almost like those of a raven the insect life around them freezes those who require flight immediately fall to the ground um and the figure says oh, send <laughs> they will learn to fear you hmm interesting mm-hmm I think that will be very useful to you. I'm sure I can think of a few uses of it once I... <laughs> sleep on it. <laughs> Have a good rest, Saitari. Now, before hmm? you let me go, yes. I say with air quotes, why was I going to be cross with you? I didn't really think you wanted to talk to me. Why? Mm. You, you, it, it just, like, his, hmm, their hmm just kind of hangs in the air. I don't know. Just a feeling, I guess. It doesn't really answer the question. I don't know. Uh, many people don't really like talking to their sentient objects. Oh. No, I think it's quite alright. Alright. It's just been, you know, it's been very busy. Lots of hectic bullshit going on. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Well... You have a good rest of the night, Zaytari. Um, and at that, uh, the dream fades. The glade disappears. 
silence. Okay. All right. And unless you wake up at that point, uh, your the rest of the night goes without incident. Okay. Um, all right, so KK, you pretty much, you know, talk to the meter. Uh, are you back? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you talk to the meter. Uh, this is what you learn about, well, actually, give me a couple, I need to roll for her. Um, I have some list of information here. Um, so maybe give me a... Intel potion kit? Intel, Intel potion kit, please. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, you can, you, okay, so... Psh, wow, that's weird. So, I rolled three natural 16s in a row. Nice. That's, jeez, okay. Uh, it wasn't meant to be. It, I guess, all right. So, looking at the devil shark gland, um, both of you uh, note that there's a lot of similarities between this and other glands of the code type. You know, like, of those of the white dragons, of those of other code-based entities. Um, you think it's possible, because similar glands have been used in similar potions, that you can use this gland to make a potion that grants code immunity f to up to an hour. Sorry, cold immunity? Yep, cold damage immunity, essentially. Or versus, the, in, in, in essence, that would include the weather as well. Sorry. Um, in character question, could it be, like, used to be, like, um, like a freeze grenade or something? It's... <laughs> okay. It's possible. Um, but just like, it's possible that it could craft, be crafted in that way as well. Um, but just, you know, just looking at like similar things, the first thing most people would go towards is code immunity potion. Um, but Demeter confers with you that there isn't, it's possible My to make it. Thought, yeah. How to make it explode. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you might you, you might need um, there you know you'd have to have like a catalyst, um, which could ha you guys could come up with between the two of you. Um, also, um, it might help maybe if this is going to be like a grenade, maybe somebody with a little bit of mechanical knowledge might help as well, um, or like good amount of like. Uh, evocation magical knowledge but it's possible it would just be a matter of how much time you want to put in this thing <laughs> we want to this could be an immunity potion we are going to weaponize it <laughs> um for the rainbow lilies um it exhibits the same um, properties as something called a gin blossom, um, Demeter notes. So it is possible to create maybe a elixir or potion that would fortify those against the charismatic type of individuals or against poison. In game terms, this would mean advantage versus like charisma checks and things like this. Uh -huh. um, as for the very weird health potion that you described to Demeter, uh, you tested on some uh, some flies with varying results. Uh, a few of them turned into mosquitoes. Uh, a few of them turn into uh, butterflies. Uh, one turned into a muskrat. Um, Demeter will note, note that 
this potion started as a health potion, but because of some components that were weren't what? used to preserve it, like like a preservative of some sorts, the health potion has it destabilized over time and will continue to destabilize. Also, uh, basically, I gotta age this shit and drink it at the last battle. See what the fuck happens. Gotcha. Jesus. Uh, yes, we'll do. We'll it'll we'll deck up many things. It. Uh, Demeter says, <laughs> "Well, that's a possibility." Question mark. And when I mean the question mark is definitely there, but yeah, it's very okay. unsta. It, it's what happens. Green drinks the potion, <laughs> and suddenly she's gone. Well, that's not unusual. I mean, rain disappears all the time. She goes invisible. <laughs> yes. Yeah, she's, oh she's my ascended god. to godhood. It just makes her permanently invisible. <laughs> or just gone. Well, that's <laughs> Like, cool. wherever. Maybe she shrinks down to a little tiny, you know... Um, oh, man, man. Uh, or, or uh, honey, I shrunk the kids. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. But yeah, that that's what that like Demeter says. It's just gonna keep. It this is like the we, one of the weirdest things you've ever shown her. It's like it will just keep destabilizing at this point. Um, but she's un very unsure of what effects the longer you keep it, it will have. Player checkpoint. <laughs> Willing to find out. Right, a little bit less. <laughs> But that's like that's not it's it's all she can tell you because this is very unusual. Well, we'll just have to keep an eye on it, and then I don't know if things ever go really last minute. Hail Mary, never know. Hey, never know. <laughs> Good luck. Yep, keeping the shit. Yep. All right. Was there anything you wanted to do? Else you No. Um, oh yeah, Rain was going to, she didn't get the chance last time, give Pastries the Book of Plants and Druids. Okay. Because, uh, you know, you have to be responsible to and learn everything. You can't just explode everything. Yet. Okay. Um, she, uh, Pastries will look at the book and it says, Am I going to be tested on this later? Yes. Yes. And she's like... <gasps> what I if... right. <laughs> Practical test. What if I fail? What happens? Well, that really is a trick now, isn't it? Uh... What if I pass? Oh, that is also tricky. Oh. Well, you're no fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, Rain. if you fail, you get to try again until you've learned. Okay. Is there, like, fun stuff in here? Like, how to make things go? And you see her hands go... Well, that's where it starts. If you learn the basics, you can move on to more advanced things. <sighs> okay! Um... And Rain will just generally spend time, you know, around the keep with Shadok. Um, yeah, that sort of thing. Yeah. Sometimes it's, it's a little exhausting to be around Shadok. She still has a million and one questions to ask everybody. At some point, uh, I'm assuming Tilda comes back to the keep eventually, right? Uh, we'll get to that in a moment. <laughs> oh, okay. I was going to nope, say she never that, returns. I, <laughs> that I find her and ask her a question, but I'm not going to go find, like, I'm not going to go to her estate because I figure she might, like, want some time with, you know, her husband since she hasn't seen him for a bit. So. Okay. Um, so eventually uh, Ronnie and Tilda and Theo have a lovely meal prepared. Uh, it is a leek, uh, cream of leek soup as an appetizer, uh, roasted chicken with, uh, roasted asparagus, carrots. It's a simple affair for you guys, but, you know, it was, it's, like, the best meal you've had probably in weeks. Um, and then for dessert, a delicate chocolate mousse. Uh, it's pretty easy to whip up. Mm-hmm. 
Um, the following day. Um, that night. Yep. Just real quick, I wanted to send off a quick sending to Marnin. Uh, to let her know that one, I was still alive, mm-hmm. and uh, two, to tell her about the upcoming auction, just in case she and her dad wanted to come by. Oh, okay. Uh, Marn will send back that. Thank God your hard ass is still alive. Great. And second, we'll definitely swing by if we can. You're not done with me yet. And yeah, that's all I want to do. Otherwise, I would just go to my guest room and sit quietly and like look at the wall for like an hour. And then... <laughs> okay. Are you not gonna sleep? <laughs> Jesus. I'm not gonna just sleep, but just just look at the wall for a while because I don't, don't have anything else to do. And then I'll just go to. Can't read to sleep. Can't read. I don't really have any hobbies because I was on a ship, and there's no time for hobbies on a ship. So I just sit there. And- Islands for an hour, doing absolutely nothing, and then I go to. Somebody's gotta oh. teach you some goddamn meditation. All right, don't you pray? I already prayed. I pray in the mornings. Oh, because okay. I made it through the night. Um, I do want to say, Derek, uh, Tilda has not um attuned to the shards of dawn yet. Okay. Um, she will keep them on the bedside table Mm -hmm. and yeah okay for you uh oh uh oh um you are asleep after a Uh while (laughs) um Mm -hmm. for you you are it doesn't seem to be a room It's like in one of those movie sequences where you're in a white space and it seems just to continue forever. Okay. Um, It's bright in here. Um, You don't, you you don't, it's not dark at all. Um, Where you you seemingly think there should be ground, there is really none. Um, But you hear... So, I apologize for my, um, for introducing myself like this, uh, but it's strange to finally be awake again. May I ask who I have the pleasure of temporarily being attached to? Um, generally, it's considered polite for you to introduce yourself first. (laughs) Touche. Um, well, you know me as, you probably will know me as, well, uh, what you've been calling me this entire time, Shards of Dawn. Uh... I beg Other your pardon. T- Shards of Dawn. Or, typically, I've been known as Pelor's Light as well in the past. Well, this is going to be an interesting dream. Um, go on. Uh, you are the Shards of Dawn. Mm-hmm. And... You wanted my name. Yes, please. Duchess Matilda Persephone Adelaide Bernadine... Loyola Ne Galantara. Pleasure to meet you. And you. And like she's kind of just like looking around trying to find any sort of source for this voice. It's 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 kind of everywhere all at once. Mm-hmm. It's creepy. <laughs> um I just wanted to know that I was taken off my previous owner eh. uh, for a reason the mommy lich yes it was not very pleasant it's not like he could use me anyways 
I just merely want to know why I was taken. Well, I I figured why I was taken. But what what is my purpose? What is my purpose now? What am I to do for you? Um. I mean, you were retrieved um, for the purpose of healing my father-in-law, mm -hmm. returning his sanity and his face, etc. He had gone through a harsh... Some serious torture I see. that left him disfigured and not in his right mind. I, sen I definitely sense that. That's a horrible thing to go through. Hmm. As for what your purpose is for me now, I honestly don't know. To be honest, I don't even know if you are meant to be mine. Do you know what I mean? True. I don't know. I... Well, of course you don't know. You're an object. <laughs> I don't know because I did sense my counterpart close by. And... The, uh... Hmm. Yeah. Her. Well, her relic as well. As well as that boisterous... Kind of... You hear his hesita... You hear the relic's hesitation. Individual, as we know. Uh... As chords. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Are you saying the, uh, the Raven Queen's choice is your counterpart? She is the harb. She is the guide to the dead. She is, as they would say, my yin to my yang. Hmm. I have, in a way, you could also say that. The moon is my counterpart as well, but I f sometimes I feel it's more of the Raven Queen. I was going to say, I, I thought it would be... Um, give me a second, I just realized I had not opened my notes. Um, I know I have it written down. I just need to find it. Come on. Sorry, I'm still in 2016. There we go. 2020. <laughs> Yes, I would have expected the moon's reflection to be your counterpart. Scholars could argue that the moon, that Sahinine is more part of the elven pantheon than, well, we, we, we don't need to get into that. Um, what we do need to get into is... Well, I just don't want to be in the hands of another foul being like my previous owner. Not that he would be able to use... Not that he used me anyways. It was very unpleasant. Hmm. Well, I mean, your definition of foul being... Um is certainly accurate for your previous owner, but um, I think some people would say it also applies to me. I don't think so. I mean, I don't think you're a foul being. Hmm. You should ask the rogue in our party. <laughs> We've put aside differences, but, you know. 
to put it plainly, as long as I'm not used for evil. I will be fine. Would you be? Fr would you prefer to be returned to, um? The, I know him as Belzol. The Grand Master. Yes. Honestly, I think I'd be a little more useful in your hands. There's the rub, isn't it? Because you don't feel like mine. I mean... I got you for my husband to help his father. I didn't even really retrieve you. Someone else did. To be perfectly frank, I don't feel much of a connection to you, which is why it's surprising I am here. This is quite the odd dream. Such an awkward first date. <laughs> really? Well... I can only presume my subconscious was thinking about how we don't belong together and constructed this sort of... Uh, place and time of nothingness, apparently. Or perhaps it is Sahinine's influence in dreams? Well... Wherever I go, it is currently up to you and your compatriots. I know. You're an object. Incapable of moving around by yourself. You may be sentient, but still. You'd think that, would you? <laughs> if you could move, why weren't you, um... Why didn't you... Remove yourself from your previous owner. Since you had such a distaste for him. Everything happens for a reason. I disagree. I believe that we make order from chaos, but that the universe itself is chaos. You have no idea how close you are to the truth. <laughs> have a good night, Lady Matilda. Yes, you as well, Shards of Dawn. And with that, everything goes black. Cool. Not even attuned to it. Somehow still jumps into my dreams. Okay. Um... How long do you plan on staying at the estate? Um... I mean... A day, maybe two? I, it would really depend on... Um... If... I feel like they need me back at the... Back at Sweetwater? Okay. Rosewater? I can't remember. The Rose, watery one. Rose water. <laughs> the water keep. <laughs> Rose water, yeah. Um, and if Theo 
I feel like Theo needs me here. Um. Okay. So that's really the uh, the crux of the problem is that like I want to be supportive, but also um, I would like to, you know, I don't want to make Ronnie sit around <laughs> and wait. Right. Right. Forever. Uh, well, in the morning, uh, one of the uh, uh, the steward Wardlow tells uh, when you guys are at breakfast that um, Lord Edgar uh, has woken up and would like to see the Audra. Um, Just in case. Yeah. Uh, at that, Theodric will excuse himself. Um, he asks if you want to come along, Tilda. Do you want me to come along? I don't want to distress him, you know. Galantara in his home. Could you, could you wait outside the door for a minute? Of course. Okay. Excuse us, Ronnie. No problem. Ronnie, there is another <laughs> stack of pancakes that, that is given to you. I just slowly start eating them. <laughs> um, you see, uh, so Theodric goes inside first. Mm -hmm. Um, it's about. I'm just out in the hallway, like yeah. twisting my uh, wedding ring around and around on my finger. It's about five minutes afterwards. You know, you hear, you do hear like talking. Um, it's about five mm -hmm. minutes afterwards when um, Theodric uh, Theo pokes his head out and says, um. You, uh, my father would like to see you. Uh, all right. Um, I, I, I go into the room. All right. And, uh, I, I drop into a curtsy, you know, Lord Edgar. Lady Matilda. Um, he uh, he motions you to find a seat either on the bed or in one of the chairs near spot nearby. I'll I'll go sit in the chair. Okay. So my son gave me the um, the short version of what has happened, the very short version of what has happened. Mm -hmm. I can't say I ever expected this to have happened, but I'm very happy that my son found somebody like you. I'm sorry that I could not be around and he kind of like air quotes during your um, during the wedding. You'll have to tell me about that day in great detail. But yes, of course. But I I cannot wait to get to know my daughter-in-law. He gives you a small smile. <clears throat> Thank you. I cannot 
athlete to get to know my father-in-law. You know, besides the things that my father might have said <laughs> about I suppose I will have to speak to him at some point. Well, your it son and my father already made a um made a deal on how many goats and land I'm worth, you know. <laughs> no cat no cattle as well. Few cattle. Um, immense casks of wine. I see. It's what we do. I'm glad the no negotiations uh, went off without a hitch then. <laughs> oh, oh, I am. I'm. I'm. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I'm getting very tired again. Um, it's all right. I just wanted. Good breath. Thank you. I just wanted to see you before I went back to sleep. But... It's good to see you around again, right. sir. Good to see you too. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Theo will say, "We'll let you rest, Father." He he nods and, um just leans back and closes his eyes and you know as you're getting to this as it to the door you you hear him lightly snoring at this point he was pretty mm. exhausted yeah yeah um theo says as you guys you know go through your door he i didn't have to tell him much he he remembered everything I I said about you when he was in his state. Oh. It's, he told me it was like, and you know, you guys are walking back to the dining room. Mm -hmm. He told me it was like, he was like almost trapped in his own body. In a way. Hmm. But... I didn't even have to explain that much. He just told me, you know, part part way through, he told me, you know, he's just very, he was very happy I found somebody who made yes. me a better person. Just like my mother did for him. I kind of rub his arm when he mentions his mother. Um, Thanks. No. no. I suppose um, I'll see. I'll see um, I suppose you should bring Ronnie back to keep. He seems rather uncomfortable being around here. Um, but... Yes, um, I think he's lonely. I'll come. I'll come once you know. Once my father rests up, I'll come back to the keep to visit you again. Or you can come back. No hurry. Yet, yeah, yes, and um, of course. Um, and your father's welcome at Rosewater. Um, being the father of the duke. Hmm. <laughs> he. Uh... I have the feeling he can't wait to be up and around again. I know the oh, sure. nation has changed a little bit since he's been in the state. But, yeah. I'm going to make sure that everything is up to his expectations um, once he is up and about. But I will see you very, very soon. Mm. I still need to continue to show you my appreciation for 
everything. gonna write you so many poems mm. <laughs> so many poems so many gifts so many things yes um tilda just kind of chuckles um at a thought because she thinks is that what the baby's name will be appreciation <laughs> <laughs> but doesn't say it um gonna be a tiefling? oh yes. my god <laughs> no um uh, she just kind of uh, gives him a kiss uh, and says, you know, I didn't mind the tapestry of um, the war of, uh, I believe it was the war of the left field. Mm. That one seemed most accurate to what I grew up with. Okay. The story I grew up with. Well, you know, seemed more equal mm. rather than loyal sided. I kind of like poke him in the ribs. <laughs> well, um, then I guess that one can go back up. But, but yeah, I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm. Of course. You can't get rid of me that easily. Nor can you get rid of me. Even sending me on adventures through great jungles and terrible snake pits and awful things. Ugh, snakes. Mm. Yes. Very terrible. Is, is Ronnie behind that stack of pancakes? <laughs> Ronnie? Yep. <laughs> oh, dear. Why don't you finish your breakfast and we'll head back to Rosewater as soon as you're ready. Uh, I've, I've been done for a little while. Alright. Oh, dear. How many pancakes did Warlow give you? It, it's a common misconception. The shell makes me look bigger than I actually am. <laughs> I apologize, Leo. <laughs> no offense taken. <laughs> okay. I just give Theo a kiss on the cheek and... Alright, let's go. <laughs> he is. Alright. So you guys head back to <laughs> Rose uh, Rosewater. Um, Mallory, do, uh, Z did Zytarian want to go first thing in the morning to Vox? She would have, yeah. Alright. Because uh, uh, I didn't know... When Tilda was going to be back. Yeah, you didn't know. Um, Tilda didn't know either. That's true. And um, so she'll ask uh, Melanie and Rain if they want to go to Box with her for a couple days. Uh, I'm going to stay, I think, for a little bit. Oh, that's right. You have a child now. You hear in the <laughs> background, I am the Skull Master! <laughs> Melanie pulls her skull mask down over her face <laughs> and gives a small bow to you before running off to both fight the skull master and see what just broke. <laughs> I'm ready to watch her leave and goes, I guess this makes me the responsible one now? Probably. This child is doomed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, literally. She was doomed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's actually doing better now. Hmm. And still, doom. I think I supervise the children, uh, unfortunately. Uh, mm. You have fun in Vox with uh, whatever you get up to. Mm. I have some plans. All right. See you in a few days. And uh, I'm going to teleport myself to Vox. Um, I'm assuming that it's very familiar. Yeah, it's pretty since familiar. We spent... Yeah, okay. All right, well, let's roll that D100. I think that's fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's on target. Okay. Uh, where did you want to teleport to? Um, probably if I could. Like, I, actually, I don't even know if you can like really specify exactly. Okay, no, it is on target. If it would be possible, just a bit outside the city, so I don't like bamf in the middle of something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely doable. 
Um, you arrive okay. outside Happy the birthday city. birthday to... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, yeah. Or, or if I could, uh, I would go... Because I know it would probably be relatively safe. Mm -hmm. um, the Treasure Hunters Guild. Okay. Where we spent a lot of time. So. All right. Um, Surely scaring the shit out of some people. But, oh. You know. Uh, did you want to be uh, outside the uh, Ugly Harpy? Or in the Ugly Harpy? Uh, let's do right outside. Okay. Uh, the Ugly Harpy. It's just me, so it's not like me and eight other people. <laughs> okay. Uh, Suddenly showing up in a space. Uh, you arrive, you bamf in front of the hug ugly harpy, or off mm -hmm. to the side. Um, there is you immediately notice the homeless individual, uh, a homeless individual looking up, squints, and then looks back down. Mm, I'll toss him a gold. Um. You see, uh, you see him pick up the gold po coin. Like, bite it. Welcome back. <laughs> <Lock it fit. laughs> um, yeah, and you, uh, you, yeah, they, people, people recognize you. They're like, oh, it's, mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. it's her again. Um, you, you are led down, you, you go down without any trouble whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Um, and as you, as you are going down, um, you see a couple familiar faces. Um, uh, Chad, the paladin. Mm. Um, Axe waving, uh, waving to you as you as you walk back. Um, yeah, a couple uh, faces as you probably you're probably heading towards Elena's old office, I assume. Yes. All right. Uh, you get to Elena's old office. Uh, her the nameplate uh, is has changed to. Tegan. Um, and, yeah. I'll knock a few times on the door. Alright. Uh, just a moment! I uh. just walk in. Alright. I said just... Hello. I was like, I didn't expect... I can teleport now. I... I... I guessed at this point. Oh my... Uh, he just... Goes around the desk, hugs you, kisses you. How are you? Are you okay? Is everything? He he's like limbs intact. Are you are you fine? Are you? Oh yes, everything's intact. Okay. Uh, no worries there. Uh, but oh man, those jungles are uh, awful. Uh, so we killed a uh Yuanti mummy lich and a newly risen. Brought back, set free, not really sure. Uh, demigoddess that was accumulating her power. And we got the help of this uh, ancient lizard, sorry, not lizard, you probably take offense to that, snake person that uh, can alter the physiology of any other similarly scaled creature. That sounds horrifying. It kind of was. Interesting, but was. horrifying. Yes. I would love to take notes on that. Um, I didn't ex you see there's, like, stacks and stacks of, like, documents. Like, he's probably gone halfway through the stacks and has, like, a stack of documents in the out pile, but there's still a huge, like, in pile set. So what, do you just handle all of the paperwork for this branch now? Uh, there's a lot of... You have no idea how much paperwork there there is in transference of one hand to another. I'm getting through it. Um, a lot of it's contracts, though, that I'm approving and disapproving, but... I'm really glad you're safe. I'm really glad you're back. Yes, thankfully, we all survived. And Thank goodness. Melanie and Rain have brought back another member for the keep, as I did tell you. <laughs> I, 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 you told me about that. That's, that's night. That's good news. 
for is it good news? Is it? I think so. I think so. I worry about what kind of influence those two will have on <gasps> that little girl. Oh, I'm sure but... they'll be okay. I mean, it can't be that bad. No, I'm sure it'll be fine, but you've met them. I do. Yes, I have. <laughs> I have. I definitely have. Um, actually, I th there's going to be more, but he um, he motions behind him. There is... So far, you get the feeling there'll probably be more. Uh, two boxes uh, that have been wrapped. Um, two gifts. And he says, mm. um, I, I told Ax and Serena um, over dinner about the uh, their new daughter. And um, they wanted to... Uh, they wanted to uh, give her something, and I was in the process over the next few days or so, I was going to find something as well, you know, as a welcome. <laughs> well, maybe we can go looking together, but from what I understand, um, so uh, I'll go into all of the details oh, and, about okay. uh, uh, Shadok, uh, just to get him caught up to speed caught up to everything okay um but uh we had her we teleported her to Valido, and theo met her there and apparently uh theo has a very weak will when it comes to <laughs> small children and bought her many things i so, see well she would still need like a few as as Serena was telling me, she'll probably still. I had to ask her because I wasn't sure what to get a um, a girl. Um, she'll still need a few things probably, but which they got her. Um, but I'm I'm sure we'll I'll I'll be able to find her something as well, or make her something. Well, Actually, I have to go out into the city and do some shopping. So why don't you take a break from the stack of papers and? We can get some things. Also, I had a lovely idea this morning mm -hmm. uh, before I decided to teleport in. Um, so I will leave you for a little bit as we're shopping as I try to go find some. Okay. What are you trying to find exactly? Maybe I can point you in the right direction. I don't want to spoil the surprise. Oh. Uh... Burn has <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> sounds so. good um i i will um i will well impatiently wait for your return then oh no we're going to go do a little bit of shopping now oh okay but then i'm sure you have more stuff to do and then i'll do my thing okay sounds good and then I'll meet you back here and you'll take me out to dinner. Of course. Okay. All right. Um, I know the one thing you're looking for. Um, yeah, that the you glow can, vine. Yeah, the glow vine. Um, you're going to have to go to the Thundrum Mage Order to get something mm -hmm. like that. Um, I'm not going to okay. lie. Uh, okay. so, right off the bat, uh, the person who is their, uh, botanist, um, mm -hmm. tells you that she has, she does have some healthy glowvine seedlings, okay. um, you know, tells you the conditions of which to grow them at, um, she mm -hmm. can write the instructions down if you need it. Yes, that would be very helpful. Um, okay, she will do that. Uh, so healthy glowvine seedlings go for about five hundred go gold pieces. She can, and this will include six. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay, uh, I can do that. All right. Just. Um, you will notice that she will yeah. tell you that they will they um, closely re re uh, the plant they closely resemble is that of a morning glory pretty much they're okay. a climbing plant you know needs some um a stake or a fence to uh, climb the flowers are pretty similar um but yeah she'll write all that down 
Um, and 500, yeah, 500 sounds good. Then 500 for six. Okay. Um, basically, I'm just going to reserve them mm -hmm. and then come back and pick them up later. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Um, as long because as you give her to me, she don't want will them put them to... aside. Yeah, I don't want them to die in the bag of holding. That's true. <laughs> so, want to be very careful with them. Um, but yeah, I'll give her I'll give her the money up front, um, and then I'll come back and pick those up later. All right. Um, and then for Shadok, um, since we're out here, um, and apparently buying gifts for the child, I will go buy some art supplies. Okay. Um, you know, creative outlets and all that. Mm -hmm. And then if I can, like, um, a kid's starter instrument. Okay. Um, huh? I said ukulele, but I'm mm. just joking. Don't, I mean, no, I'm going to buy set. this child a recorder. <laughs> oh, <okay>. no. <laughs> yes. I'm buying the small child a recorder. Yeah. Because that's what you always get small children yeah to do, the do, shit out of their parents do, do, <laughs> they actually started me out with a penny whistle then they upgraded me to the um goddamn recorder back in my school mm -hmm. we went straight to recorders in like in elementary school they handed them yeah. out in class yep said mm -hmm. this is yours go practice at home yep. bring it in on thursdays or whatever mm-hmm mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right, recorder, art supplies. Yeah, so like just some simple paints, um, pastels, um, a couple sketchbooks, and like a canvas or two. Okay. I mean, I'm sure it'll all fit in my bag of holding. Um, <laughs> it is the pit. <laughs> Tegan will suggest uh, if you are worried about your walls, chalk might be al also a good alternative. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, yeah. No, I'm gonna get chalk instead. I'm gonna get a lot of chalk. <laughs> okay. Crayon and paint is hard to get off of walls, guys. Yes, <laughs> I can only imagine. Uh, wax and then, uh, you know, oils <laughs> with pigment. Mm -hmm. Very uh, staining. But yeah, chalk Chalk is much better. Uh, we have a lot of uh, stone, so, and that's easy to wash off. That's okay. a great idea. <laughs> I'll give Tegan a kiss on the cheek and say thank you. That is a wonderful suggestion. Um, so yeah, recorder and mini chalks. Yeah, he will. He will mention Penelope was that child. They never mm. were able to get the stains off. I see. We weren't really into. We weren't in one place long enough where we ruined walls. Though we did. Uh, no, that's right. I do distinctly remember. Uh, painting the interior of the caravan uh, bright blue once. <laughs> we had to get new canvas. Oh, that must have been a sight. It was. It was, uh... Yeah, it wasn't great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, that's why I switched to instruments. But, um... Yeah, so after that, uh... I'll drop Tegan back off at the, uh... What is it? The Screaming Harpy? Mm -hmm. Is that it? Yeah, uh, the Ugly uh, Harpy. Yeah. Ugly Harpy. Oh, so close. Um, and um, I am going to try to find somebody who does tattoos. Okay. Um, so you have the choice of immediately two places. Okay. Um, there's a Good Faith Tattoo. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a Brilliant Ink. Okay. Uh, Brill Good Faith Tattoo is... Hold on. One sec. I need to get... Um, so Good Faith Tattoo is more of like your traditional uh, style tattoo uh, parlor. Um, so what you meaning is, you know, the like, um, how do I describe this? You know, like the sailor type tattoos, like the British state sailor type tattoos that you would see, um, that kind of style. Very the, yeah, the traditional style. Traditional style. Um, yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, so good faith is like that. It's more good faith is more traditional. Brilliant ink is a little more. They they're they're they are more willing to experiment. Um, they do traditional as well, but they 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 do branch out. They do um, a lot of like tribal um, things. They do have like an artist or two that is actually you you hear that's actually from the wilds. Um, mm. So they they do like a couple of the. Very similar to um, Maori tattoos. Um, mm-hmm. Very similar to, you know, like what The Rock has and whatnot. Not the Brahma bull, but like, you know, his pec tattoo. Similar geometric styles like that. Mm-hmm. Um, was there a particular style you were looking for? Um, yeah, we're going to go for that traditional okay. look. Um. And then I'm going to ask them if they could do something else, but I need to find the art for it first. Um, so. <laughs> oh, this has actually. Uh, are guns a widely known thing in this setting? Oh, wait, I have minor illusion. I can just give them a reference image. That's fine. Yeah, Never guns mind. are pretty uncommon. Um Yeah. So for Tegan and his and his brother were the only ones that you saw with them. Okay. Good enough for me. But they're uh, not later. unheard of. They I mean anybody who possesses them is I mean they know of them, but most people have never seen one themselves. Yeah. Um, so I'll find an artist that's willing to work with me. Okay. And let's go. Uh, tabs open. All right. Uh, but yeah, there is a, um, a halfling. Uh, she goes mm-hmm. by... Um, Shirley, uh, she is more than willing to, you know, help you with what you need. Uh, former sailor, most of her experience was uh, tatting sailors. Um, she moved around a lot. She's on the older side. She's like 176 at this point. So she's kind of like settled in, but she's got, she's got real good steady hands from what you hear from the locals. Okay. Uh, I will describe uh, what I am looking for mm-hmm. and with the help of minor illusion to, you know, kind of show the gun uh, specifically. Okay. Uh, How and... big are you thinking this is going to be? Uh, yeah, one second. Yeah, I feel like I found a picture, but I lost it somewhere along the way. Um, I just sent you an, I just sent you a message. Okay. Um, I see. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, she can, uh, she'll sketch out something pretty much to a T, especially if you have minor, um, minor illusion to help her, but she can do it. Okay. Um, and then she'd also uh, like to inquire about getting something done that's like, um, maybe I should actually go to the tribal person. But we'll just start with that for now and see how painful it is. Okay. <laughs> um, so, um, it only hurts where you're, you're like at the bony parts of your hips. Yeah. Yeah, that's the that's the one that hurts the most. Um mm-hmm. a little experience with that. Uh 
Sh uh, but it's not that bad. I mean, you've been cut in battle. You've been, like, punched in the face. I mean, you've been set on fire. It, I mean, it's not that bad compared to all that. Um, okay. It will take a while, though. Um, okay. That will... Yeah. I mean, this is going to take all day. And maybe oh, no. We'll I know. But that's just kind visit. of like a... That's, that's going to be another visit. Yeah, but... that's def... Like, this is like... Yeah. They got magic and, like, stuff here. But, yeah, it's going to take a while. Yeah. That... Yeah. You're, you're talking about at least two or three visits. Yeah. Um, and, you know, she is more than willing to do, like, for both, it's probably going to be, like, just because of labor, um, yeah. probably 20 gold. Okay. Yeah. I'll take it. I'll, I'll, uh, tip an extra 10. Okay. I always tip your eyes. All right. But yeah, she can sketch out both. Uh, those are pretty, like not out of her realm of all right okay so you're gonna probably be there for a few days <laughs> oh yeah i mean this this i can come back for yeah like i'll have uh i imagine over the two week time span i'll be able to do like come back to vox and do this stuff and also like swap out magnificent mansion mm -hmm. so that i can do my interior decorating yeah so oh yeah Okay. Um, so yeah, that will take a while. Um, yeah, but the first thing is just the uh, the uh, classy Guns and Roses. Okay. Um, anybody need, else need to do anything immediately after um, in the fir first few days? Uh, when Tilda comes around. Uh... Melanie is gonna ask her a question. Okay. Yeah, she's probably back at this point. Like Zaitari's, you know, couple days shopping. Uh, Tilda. Hmm. Question for you. You know, um, I had some tutors that they were, you know, fine, but um. <laughs> Do you know any tutors that maybe are, like, really nice? Or do you maybe think that anyone uh, might have any recommendations of, you know, really kind, nice tutors? Not not that yours wasn't... She did her job very, very well. <laughs> but I don't know that she'd be suited to to teaching children. Shaddock, uh, children in general. Oh. I mean, to be perfectly frank, darling, um... Can you feed french fry? Okay. The tutors um, Rosamund and I had, as ch children her age, were either, either uh, governesses and nannies, um, or we tortured them until they quit. Mm. Um, oh. my magic teacher was the first one that actually let us learn what we wanted to learn and sort of dictated from there I see okay, okay. but um, I don't know if you want uh I didn't start studying magic until I was a teenager. Perhaps because Shattuck has innate magic. Um, you might want to look into uh, somebody from the Thundrum Order to tutor her, or perhaps we just... Um, Look, I can ask around. How's that? Appreciate I'll it. ask... Um... I'll ask some people. I think I have contacts that might know of a suitable tutor. Wonderful. Um... For magic, you mean? Well, no, not just magic. For, like, um... 
mathematics and oh oh wonderful wonderful reading writing yes she was very as a matter of fact yes uh, oh sorry um i was just going to say as a matter of fact um ronnie asked me to um help him sort of start on the uh reading and writing track as well so we're going to the library to see um nendrine do you Um, think that he would be offended if uh shaddock were to join him or do you think he would maybe like that to have somebody he would really have to ask him true um But I, I don't think Ronnie's the type to get offended easily. I don't think so either. Um, but, I will you know. find him and see. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And I go find Ronnie. I'm probably like doing yard work or something. Something real easy and kind of menial. Just basically like the uh, whatever version of Zen gardening type deal. Um, Rock garden. Uh, Ronnie. Just going, going to town on some weeds right now. Do you want me? Uh, hey, sweetie. I, would I be interrupting? Do you, wanna, do you, you have a moment? You want to change the sheet and just um, put it on this? Yeah, couch. what do you is someone hurt? Do you want to change the uh, shit no, and just put it no. on this couch and you can just get a new one from just, the bed? Just coming to say hello and, and talk to you for a minute if that's okay. I don't think anyone's hurt. Uh yeah, that's fine. I'm not used to that. But it's fine. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to make you think that we only want you around when somebody's hurt. I don't think any of you meant that. It's just the way it is. Sometimes that you're you're so quiet, it's easy for us to uh, not always get you included. But we'll we'll try to work on that. Uh, I was curious. Um, I had mentioned to uh, Tilda that I was going to be finding a tutor for Shaddock to uh, to learn her letters and whatnot, and she had mentioned that you might also be learning, and I uh, didn't know if you would want to have a uh, classmate, if that might make it more fun, or if that might be sort of demeaning since Shaddock is younger than you, and I didn't want you to feel bad or anything. I... I think it'd be harder on the tutor, whoever you pick. Well, uh, I'm sure that we'll be able to find somebody who'd be up to the task. Um, Shattuck is... She's a real handful. She's got to learn more than just her numbers and letters. Oh, yes. And yes. I don't dislike the idea, but I also think it'd be better if Shattuck had someone just for her. I only got a couple weeks to kind of get going and it would be disruptive to Shattuck if I was there and then I wasn't there for so many hours a day where will you be in a couple weeks we have the auction and then I assume there's some other great world ending event we're gonna have to rush off to oh yeah that's a good point probably she needs stability and yeah. I don't think me being in her class is going to be very stable with how little we know about what our next move is. Very far. Very far. Well. Okay. That's fine. Um, did you want any company in your rock gardening? I... I'm just cleaning up some weeds is all needed done. So I figured I'd do it because I was here. Okay. You're welcome to stay if you'd like. You don't, you don't have to help. It's my little shrine area, so I will attempt to attempt to help. Okay. Just pulling weeds. It's not hard. <laughs> All right. Uh, during this time, um, 
she's very quiet. Um, so somebody comes to the shrine area, uh, has a little basket. Um, you guys recognize her as uh, Gypsy, uh, Iskin's friend that you hired as one of the servants. Um, hi, hello. Sorry to disturb you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I was just wondering if you guys were hungry. I I brought you lunch. Very kind. Thank you. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. No problem. You guys need any help or what's that uh, tree? Was... What's that tree doing there? <laughs> uh, she was the one who didn't have legs. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Um, Does she have like crutches or she a wheelchair or something now? Um, she's got the Lieutenant Dan prosthetics right now. Uh, Tegan oh, okay. made for her. Okay, got it. Oh, that's right. Forgot about Lieutenant that. Lieutenant Dan. Did yeah, she start with legs and then lose them, or was she born without legs? She started with legs and lost them in a, as a punishment. Yeah. If you want to stay for lunch, I can try and regrow your legs. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought so she casual. like nearly, so <laughs> nearly drops the basket. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, I can give it the old try. I don't know if it's gonna work. Half my magic doesn't, but I can try. Uh, I'm gonna use my magic on today. Um. Okay. She looks at you, Melanie. <laughs> Thumbs up, like yeah, it's probably okay. Go ahead and eat up first. So don't do it on an empty stomach; you might get lightheaded. Okay. Uh, she there's a you know a pile of like uh, ham and cheese sandwiches, and um, some uh, some ice some uh, iced tea. Uh, tea. Uh, she brought some sugar in case you guys like your iced tea sweetened. And while we're eating, I'm just gonna you know ask Melanie. Um, so are you religious? Do you follow anyone? Uh, I mean, I have a, uh, a relic of cords, and so I guess there's that. I really just, you know, kind of do what needs done. That's fair. I'm not going to try and convert you or anything. Don't, don't worry about that. It's good that you have enough folks around you that you don't feel like you have to go looking somewhere else. I think that our, our group is full of very good people. I, I see a lot of people who do good things. I don't know if I necessarily believe in good people or evil people, but... Good actions have been performed. Don't enough good actions make somebody good? I don't think anyone's ever inherently, innately good. I think we're all just people. And sometimes we swing a little closer to good, and sometimes we swing a little closer to evil. I can see that. I guess I can only hope that I stay on the good sway as often as possible. You just adopted a little girl who didn't have anyone else, so I think you're pretty firmly in camp good action. I was really hoping somebody doesn't think I kidnapped her. I don't think anyone does. That's good. On the docks, you see a lot of orphans. Yes. Half of them grow up to do grunt labor. Half of them grow up to be cabin boys. And the stragglers end up joining the guard. And you're giving this one a chance at something a little better than that. And that's good. I hope so. She seems like a very nice girl. She's nice, yeah. She's probably real smart, too. When she kind of gets over not being used to stuff. Yes. Yes. I 
Would it be all right if I called myself Uncle Ronnie to her? Full. Yes, absolutely. I'd like that. I'm sure that she would as well. Promise not to teach her anything bad. I won't be a bad influence or anything like that. I... I'm certain you won't. I don't know that you could. Oh, are you telling me not to? I'm not really sure. So I'm, I'm making some promises. I. Oh. I know people have certain ideas in their head about what a sailor's like. And... I think anyone's ever thought that about you after meeting you, Ronnie. That's very kind of you to say. So, can you really rig up limbs? Is that a thing you can do? Yeah, it's a bit powerful. I don't, I've don't. i never really done it, but I haven't expended that much energy that often. So, it's kind of new to me. Mm. But it might take me a few goes at it. We, like I could probably start it and you might get some nubbins back and then little flippers and then legs. I don't know. It's my first time trying I'm it. Sorry. Was <laughs> flippers that I mentioned there? Yep. Oh, yay. It shouldn't hurt, though. I don't think, I'm pretty sure it doesn't hurt. Most, most of my magic doesn't hurt unless it's supposed to hurt. Well, that's good, I think. I think that means I'm still on his good side, and I'll take that as a, a good sign. I've, I'm sure that your good-naturedness will make it so that you have a very hard time doing otherwise. I mean, well, like, let's be... Let's be blunt here. Tyr doesn't give a shit if I'm good-natured. He's not about being good-natured. Yo, oh, well. He it, probably wouldn't like it if you went around murdering people, like, a lot. Uh, he wouldn't care if I also saved a lot of people. Oh. I see. Balance. Maybe. Oh. So, what actually... I can think. So wait, does that mean you need to murder some people? If you grow a leg back, you need to go, like, chop off a leg? No, because I've been traveling with you guys, and you guys have done plenty killing. I'm bouncing you guys out. I don't know how I feel about that statement. I, it's just the facts. Oh, yes, okay, well. Uh, I... Let you do your magic. I'll stand back. All right. Tell me if it hurts. If it hurts, I'll stop. Uh. So Gypsy's been sitting here this entire time, not yep, close yep. by you, like far enough away to, to give you like a respectable distance. And she's just when you got to the you know regloring limbs part, she's just like been chewing the same piece of sandwich for like two minutes straight. I just like, start rifling through my pack. And I pull out a little prayer pamphlet and a vial of holy water. My first time. I should be able to do it correctly. But let's see what happens. We'll hold her hand if she would like some reassurance. Okay, she does. She's just like... Scary. She just agreed in like the span of like 10 minutes. To be like, hey, you want your limbs to be regrown? You know, how, you know, you were horrifically, like, de-limbed for, like, helping somebody escape? Sure! <laughs> okay! <laughs> I'm just gonna spend one minute sprinkling holy water on her and, like, mumbling a quick, quick prayer and I'll cast Regenerate. Okay. Um, it will take two minutes. Yep. I... Two minutes for the limb to be restored. Alright. I don't know if it restores both limbs at once or one limb. Severed body members. Members. Okay, I see. I can do multiple pieces at a time. All right, so we both limbs. <laughs> okay. So her legs, it's weird seeing your her legs, like, 
I imagine this is like regeneration Deadpool style. Like, in the span Probably. of, like, two minutes. Just super fast and really gross. Yeah, and she's, like, she doesn't want to, she doesn't look. Like, there's a period where she does look, and she's like, oh, God, that's horrifying. Um, but after two minutes, her, her, she, she has, you know, you took off her prosthetic. She has legs. She, she's, she's in shock. And the whole she's, time Ronnie's doing, like, reassuring doctor talk. Like, you're doing great. Just keep breathing. You know? <laughs> You know, clench your hands real quick. Just make sure you're not <clears throat> cutting off any oxygen or blood. Just <laughs> keep breathing. Um, she just like she just stares agape after the process is done. After two minutes, she's she's like she and she you know she's wiggling her toes. I I can. I can feel grass. That probably feels better now, doesn't it? I... <laughs> I'm trying to be serious with fucking Deadpool pictures. Um... <laughs> oh my god! How... What? How can I ever thank you? Oh, uh, you, you don't have to thank me. It's alright. I... Uh... She looks, and she looks like she's about to cry. I, no, don't, don't, don't do that. It's okay. <laughs> I don't have a hanky. I don't. Here, and she, I just like she, wipe her face with my robe of eyes. <laughs> <laughs> she like she she like throws herself on you and starts like crying. <laughs> like thank you so much. I just pat her back and I let her <laughs> let her get it out. Melody, what are you doing? It's like really impressed, and I'm also like offering some pats. Like, you're good. You got this. And also, I'm like, damn, that was pretty cool. So she's like that for like the next ten or fifteen minutes, <laughs> like Just thanking you there. and crying and thanking you. Kind of like I'm, in a repeated motion. I'm, I'm, you know, trying to you know comfort her through it and like you know hug her back, but I'm also subtly trying to like get her to do some stretches so that when she stands up for the first time, she doesn't just fall. Okay, she will like tearfully in happiness start doing stretches, but you know at the same time like thanking you profusely for giving her the ability to walk normally again back. <laughs> That was a more clever man and make a joke about sea legs right about now. I know there's <laughs> one there. I just don't know what it is. Oh, uh, boy. Does that spell cost any maps? No. no. It's just you know, a you could, spell. You could um, make, like, endless food. Oh, my God. <laughs> Re regenerate work bodies, not plants or anything like that. Oh, no, no, no. No, like, cut like, a, cut a like cow's leg. legs off. <laughs> okay. so, oh, I'm, just, I'm like... into person. Um, <laughs> then just grow the leg back and have some steak. And, that's, that's, uh, it's, it's a very expensive endless food supply. <laughs> yeah. Yep, that would be... <laughs> It'd be like a deserted island, I'm starving situation. Yeah. It's like, you just trained for so long as a cleric, uh... And now you get posted to your job to regenerate cows for the rest of your life. <laughs> like you've just went adventuring, go gone on so many like grand things, done so many good deeds for your deity. And you come back to your temple. It's like, all right, your training has been complete. And you get shoved into a room with a cow just, just looks at you and goes, moo. <laughs> or, this is your or, job now. So what happens is you, you take this person and you knock them out. Okay, wonk. So they're unconscious and you chop off their legs and then you regrow them and then you make stew out of the legs and then you feed them dinner and then you give them the biggest mind fuck of their lives. That's some like Hannibal Lecter stuff. Oh, I was going to say, that sounds Jesus. like Hannibal or the one, uh, what the fuck, guys? We yeah, went I mean, from not just cannibalism. Eddie, that is more steps. Mads Mikkelsen fed Eddie as hard as leg. It's 
Yep. This is f that's fucked up. That was one of my favorite moments. It was love, so. It was I love so Gideon fucked up. Show. Gideon was a great side character. Yeah. But that's not Ronnie's gig. He had no, to like regrow a no, man's horribly just... disfigured face <laughs> in yeah. this girl's legs because like that's all he does. Yeah. That would be horribly evil. That that's not Ronnie's gig. Yeah, when she's all healed, I'll let her know. I'll pack up the the lunch remnants and everything. Go ahead and go have fun. Go oh, stick your feet in the walk. Go, you know, feel the grass. Go stick your like your feet in the pool. Like, go do what you got to do. <laughs> so nonchalant. Okay, this is actually a pretty good segue <laughs> because what I was gonna do next was, hey, Rain. Yep. So uh, Chambers comes up to you. Um, you're probably working with Demeter, you know, looking at all this cool stuff you brought back. Yeah. And uh, she says, um, uh, Miss Rain, um, so there's somebody here to see you. Um, he says uh, his name is uh, Leo. Uh, he wanted to talk to you about something. He's, uh, you know, describes a Goliath. Um... And he wants to talk to me. Mm hmm. I wasn't sure uh, if you knew right. him. Yeah, bring him up to, uh, uh, wherever the sitting room is. Do we have a library? Yeah. You guys have a. Oh, uh, you, you have a library, but it's kind of occupied. That's right. Mm -hmm. Oh, we absolutely have sitting rooms. Like a sitting room. We definitely yeah. have a sitting room, a, like, dining room, like, a ballroom. Like, yeah. we got rooms. Yeah. <laughs> You want rooms? Oh. We got rooms. Pick. <laughs> <laughs> and I appropriate entertaining parlor, you know? Okay. You want to make it awkward? Go to the bathhouse. One was a big trip. <laughs> <laughs> Come on with a nice big tie back chair. Okay. Um, so... so you can menace him and pet your cat? Well, I was thinking more he's a Goliath. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. All right. Um, so yeah, you'll, you'll designate one of the sitting rooms, and, uh, he'll come up and say, um, hello. hey, Rain, um, uh, I'm, I'm glad you're back from your trip. You've, you were on a trip, I, I think Eskin mentioned that you guys went somewhere. Um, Snakes everywhere, yes. Ew. It was, uh, an interesting trip, worthwhile, but... Glad it's over. I'm 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 very happy that you uh returned safely then. Um snakes sound very unpleasant. Um so I wasn't ex how he he looks a little nervous. Um kind of like scratching his head. So I'm not familiar. So, I I wasn't sure uh, who to ask. Ask. Uh, did you need us to do something for you? We did just get back. No, 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 no. I just needed some advice, and I couldn't really ask my brothers, because. Siblings, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, look. Um, as you know, I'm 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 from the wilds. Um, I was shaman um, at my in my um, in my tribe before we got kicked out. So, I I am very unfamiliar with um, the customs in this region, and you know it's going to be your um your um i mean i'm not really into the shamanistic magic or anything i'm kind of you know more of a mixed stabbing motion no no so rain is just if there's any point to this rain is completely missing it no 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 so as, as a shaman <laughs> in my tribe um the way my tribe operated was we didn't have formal relationships in my tribe. 
Um, we we formed uh, we formed friendships. Uh, we formed close bonds. Um, we paired off, um, you know, to produce viable offspring. Um, but as a shaman, my role was I never w was to uh, be in that kind of position. And then I kind of similar to Ryan kind of blinks is starting to piece it together a little bit. <laughs> I so when I heard of this uh tradition that your people call uh, an anniversary I was oh. <laughs> I was a little um perplexed oh, from... oh anniversary um Oh sorry <laughs> So um... I wasn't really sure what to get your brother um i'm i'm very unaccustomed to this tradition um i care for him very much I, I that's that's that yeah i yeah um but i wasn't sure what well, to um, get him there's like kind of like a, a weird mixture of emotions like oh gosh it's like gosh not that uh you know and like, well um he's um, I mean, he loves sweets. Um, he's always had, uh, chocolate, you know, that sort of thing. Um, that's very traditional in general. Uh, but honestly, I think the best thing you can do is, uh, sp spend some sort of time with him. Uh, I know that's, um, uh, I think things most people appreciate um okay okay that's good to know um yeah i'm i'm sorry if this is it, this must be very uh, i mean my yeah it, it, it's weird it's weird i know but, um... it's weird i couldn't ask my uncle or brothers because they're kind of when they Dick. Kind of, sometimes, like yeah, situation. mostly, most most of the time, they're, you know, playfully, they're, they like to, you know, rib on me, but it's difficult to talk. <sighs> At every, uh, on the weekend, when my mother uh, was still very young, but she would always bring black flowers from the market. He uh, particularly likes yellow ones, um, any color, you know, any type of yellow, uh, very bright, pretty, uh, you know, but he also enjoys, um, I know he likes singing, but, um, I mean, you know, I can, I can turn into a bird. <laughs> um, I, I, does, that might be going a little far. Okay. You know, if you have someone, including my brother, just set aside your time, you know, mm -hmm. just. I, I do, and, I, um, yeah, I do try to, you know, visit him as often as I, I, I can. Um, he's, um, I think it, he's very special to me. And Red is also very young. Yes. Menacing look. <laughs> I. I mean, I'm not that much older than. You see him shrink a little bit? <laughs> He's like, I'm not that much older than him, but yes, we're young. It's fine. You're both young, you know? Don't. Yeah. Is, is this. And he's kind of looking at you. This is one of those threatening display siblings, do you, isn't it? Mostly. Okay. I see. <laughs> I am sufficiently intimidated, Miss Ryan. My, uh, one of my companion's friends, uh, Tegan, says he's working for something called a shop 
gun. I it sounded pretty impressive. <laughs> uh, I I have seen his. I see. I've seen um, Tegan's guns in um, in action. So I imagine what a shotgun does. Um, y you won't have to worry about anything like that. <laughs> Ever. At, at this, oh, yeah. He's like I'm... looking at you, he was like, please don't kill me. <laughs> sure my brother can take care of himself, but that doesn't mean he shouldn't know that someone's watching after him. And if you are one of those people, then all the better. And speaking of spending time with people, it is getting a little late in the day. I have a book to go read to someone. Okay. Uh, so I will see. You. Right. And writing, uh, constant shitting on her aside from everybody, is going to spend a, a decent amount of time with Shadok, especially reading her to sleep and things like that. Okay. Yeah, she's pretty exhausted from being the master of skulls. From being the master hard of skulls. Hard work. Yeah, it's very hard work. I mean, there's so many skulls she has to master. Who's shitting on you? I don't have any more in common than, oh god, this kid. <laughs> Rain in particular, the less of my body. Mm. Uh, I see. Yeah, I mean, Zaitari has not seen Melody interact too much. Uh, you know, she kind of left and they were just playing, and so Zaitari is probably just like, oh god, this is just going to be all it is every day, isn't it? Uh, she would actually do, uh, more expect Rain to be the responsible one, especially with how the uh, explosion incident happened, and you handled it really well. <laughs> so, with uh, Deacon and Pastries. Mm -hmm. It was an explosion, right? Or was that acid? I can't remember. No, it was an explosion. It went boom. Acid is the second lesson. <laughs> Ah, okay. Okay. Also, you're good with Iskin. Just saying. Alright. Anywho. Um. Alright, so... At this point, I don't know whether Zaitari's back at the keep yet. Um, it's a few days in when, um, Zaitari, you get a message, mm -hmm. uh, from Alexandria. She says she's going to stop by, okay. um, pretty quick. Yeah, I mean, Zaitari wouldn't be rushing to get back to the keep. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, she has some stuff she wants to ask, uh, talk about with Ronnie, but, um, you know, she's gonna enjoy her time in Vox. Uh, show off the new tattoo. Okay. <laughs> yep. What's Tiga, what's Tiga's reaction to the tattoo? Um. Let me uh, let me let me put this into words. How do I put this into words? Uh, he really likes it. Mm -hmm. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. uh, what does it look like? Have we seen it? Nope. I'll send pictures when I actually show it off. Okay. <laughs> um, he's very into it. Okay. <laughs> nice. 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 No regrets. Um, and then after that, um, yes, <laughs> I'm sure, uh, enjoying some pillow talk, to, uh, Zaitari will just kind of like you know idly rub his arm and say, "This would be a lovely place for a rose tattoo, don't you think?" <laughs> he he contemplates it. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting one. I think I um, I think I like the idea actually. Score. <laughs> <laughs> um. But do go on uh, with the message that I receive. Uh, she'll just be at the keep in a few days if you wanted to talk to her about the um, the stuff you wanted to talk to her about. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then I'll ask Hagen, uh, I need to go back to the keep. 
soon. Mm -hmm. uh, would you like to come with me for a few days? Sure. Uh, let me just pack up the, the stuff that I have for Shadok, and then we can uh, be off. Wonderful. So, yeah, we'll head back. Uh, I'll pick up the glow vine, and uh, I'll teleport us back. Okay. Uh, so you guys teleport back. Um, the keep's still there. It hasn't exploded. Um, yet. Ev yet. Yes. Every everything that I described uh, has happened already. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you. I know you wanted to talk to Ronnie. Um, at some point. Um, yeah. So yeah, Alexandria will be there in like a day or two. In like a day or two. Um, as long okay. as we're around. Um, uh, well, if I can go talk to Ronnie. Okay. Yep. Uh, I'll just do it now. Um, I'll go looking for him. The first place I'll try is the shrine. Is he there usually in like the daytime hours? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ronnie, excuse me. Uh, yes. Is so anyone hurt? Does mentally count? I don't know what I can do for that. <laughs> no, it's quite alright. Um, I had a few questions for you. Uh, one request and then a project that I'd like to do with you. Alright, yeah. What can I help you with? Um, so, back when we were doing all of our Feywild horrid death-defying adventures, uh, my mentor Grella passed away. Uh, I don't really know what became of her body, uh, nor do I know how to seek it out, but I'd like to hold some kind of... I don't know. Not Funeral's not the right word. I, I suppose the service is better? Just some kind of memorial thing, and then maybe place a... Not necessarily marker, but something to remember her by in the shrine area so that I can come and visit it. Oh, we can we can do that. Um, does she follow any god in particular? or? Uh, the Raven Queen. She was Shatterkai. Okay. Um, I don't know too much about that particular worship, but I, I'll see what I can figure out and I'll put together a little ceremony. Okay. Thank you. And uh, the other little project I had. Um, so we obviously harvested all of these. Well, at least I did. A uh, whole bunch of shark teeth uh, from all of the were sharks that we killed, including mm -hmm. the uh, downright massive one. Um, I was wondering if we could uh, work together to make some I don't know, small pieces of jewelry for the group, just to commemorate the uh, adventure. And then I was going to speak to Alexandria when she got here about maybe getting them enchanted with something a little practical. I'm, I don't really have very dexterous fingers. I'm not real good at like detail work and stuff, so I don't know if I can help too much with that bit. But with the enchanting part, I can probably help out a bit more. Okay. Well, I'm sure we can figure it out. And, well. Have you met Tegan? Yes, you met Tegan, that's right. Yes, I, uh, you brought me with you that one time. Yep, that, that's right. When we had our uh, little breakup yes. for that period of time. Um, so. Tegan's here. He can help with the more dexterous things. But I'd still like your help with it. I'm happy to help however I can. Okay. Only if you... Do you want to help with it? I'm, I'm happy to help out. I don't really got a whole lot else to do. Um, trying to learn my letters. but I Oh, that's wonderful. Can't, can't do that all day. That's very true. Um, is there anything in particular that you like doing? I never really had a chance to 
try stuff out. I've always been on a ship. You always have a job and a duty. And whenever we hit land, I usually spent it sleeping because I never mm. got too much time on a ship. Worked my 12-hour shift, and then I'd be woken up with by the men or the captain with their concerns, needing an ear. So I've never really explored hobbies, I guess. Then why don't we start the jewelry making for the first hobby? And we'll see how that goes. I sure hope my arthritis doesn't get in the way. <laughs> hobby <laughs> running. Eh. Um, while you're while you're talking, um uh you, you guys hear like a voice behind you, uh eh, excuse me. Excuse me. Uh it's it's you recognize it right recognize her as Gypsy again. She has another basket. Hello, Miss Rani. Hello again. Oh, hi, Miss Zaitari. She's also lost another leg. <laughs> uh, Somehow. Uh, Zaitari, you see she has legs. <laughs> uh, yeah, she'll just be like, kind of cock her head to the side, and then look at Ronnie, and then look at Gypsy, and just be like, okay, yeah, that's possible. <laughs> just not going to comment on it. Um, I brought you some more sandwiches. Um, I thought you'd be hungry being out here again. I do appreciate that. Thank you. Oh. And also, there's um, uh, there's a couple. Uh, uh, I wasn't sure what flavor you like, but there's a couple cupcakes in there as well, and um, and uh, and uh, some uh, some more uh, tea with sugar on the side and honey. Go ahead and pick your favorite cupcake first, and I'll eat the other one. Oh uh, no, I I couldn't. I uh, these are no, these. Ahead. It's all right. All right. Uh, she will take out a, uh, a strawberry one. Um, there are still five other cupcakes in there. Zaitari, would you like a cupcake? Absolutely. Go ahead and pick first. I'll, I'm gonna start with my sandwich. Double chocolate. <laughs> yeah, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, the, 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 um, three, three and three were in there, so. Yeah. If there's chocolate with chocolate icing, yep. Zaitari would pick that one. Yep. That is what Mallory hates, but I feel like Zaitari would love it. So, how do you like your new legs? Oh, they're they're wonderful. Thank you again so much. Um, Sorry, you don't got to keep thanking me for it. No, no, no. Um, oh, um, I, 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 I thought you'd you'd like this. Um, I, I, uh, I hope I'm not imposing about your shrine. I asked, um. I asked Nenrin about Tyr, and, well, uh, so she, um, she, uh, she takes out what looks like a, um, a, uh, a, um, a seesaw type device, kind of like, you know, like a, like a, like a, a, it's a, it's a scale pretty much, but it's one of the ones where it's, um, not with the, the string and the, the two sides, but more like the, um, balancing scales you would find. Yeah. And she's like, I thought that this, uh, you would like something like this. Oh, that'd be perfect for the shrine. We just got to balance it out. I'm glad it's good for the shrine. Yeah, it's right in line with what Tyr likes. And I know you were getting real nervous the other day with the conversation I had with Melanie. Those were extreme examples. Most <laughs> of the time with Tyr, it's not like that. Most of the time, it's take a penny, leave a penny, you know? Oh, yeah. But, yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, I, I thought this would be fine for your shrine. If there's anything else I, I can help you get for your shrine, I'd be more than willing to help. Or if you need, if you like me to like help you weed around, um, I, I could probably ask, um, you know, Chambers to get you some nice, nice, you know, shrubbery, um, for the area, you know, nice flowers. I don't know if Tyr likes flowers. I, I don't know either. We don't talk about gardens, really. But if you want to help out, I'm not going to say no. But don't feel like you gotta. Or you're, you gotta pay me back by doing it. No, no. I just want to help. Well, 
rule number one about the shrine is it has to be equal. Got to be balanced. You can't just bring one thing unless that one thing can balance things. Okay? Okay. And I just get rid of the weeds because I think they're kind of ugly. I don't know the first thing about taking care of flowers or shrubs. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I spent most of the time on a boat. There's not really gardens there. I see. But if you like to garden and you want to start planting some stuff, by all means, go for it. Whatever you want to do. Okay. Well, well thank you for giving me the leeway. Well, it's not my shrine, really. I just... I'm the one that uses it the most often. I see. Alright. Um, but for the time, I, I should go back to the kitchen. Um, uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll be back later. Thank you. Thank you again, Ronnie. Gee. Of course. You don't gotta keep thanking me. <laughs> you have the feeling she's probably gonna keep thanking you. Yeah. Uh, after she leaves, I'll just say, I'm, I'm sure it'll taper off after a while. It, uh... The way she lost her legs was very unfortunate. I didn't think to ask. I didn't think that was my place. Oh, no, it's quite alright. Uh, I'm sure she's just... <laughs> I'm sure immensely graceful. Uh, graceful. Uh, grateful to have them back. Oh. Didn't seem like that big of a an ask. If it's something I can do, might as well do. It was very kind of you, Ronnie. Oh, it's no big thing. She brought me sandwiches. I think we're even. I think so too. Um. All right. Do you know if uh, Rain has been out in the gardens recently? I need to find uh, Persephone. Um. I'm really not sure. I've been focusing on the lessons. I tried. I talked to Melanie a little bit about Shattuck and her lessons, and regrew some legs. So I've been pretty busy. Sounds like it. Well, I'll come find you again when uh, we get we'll get started on the uh, jewelry making. See if we can find you a hobby. Did you want the ceremony to be pretty small, or did you want to invite a bunch of people? No, I'd prefer it to be uh, very small. Ideally, probably just the two of us. <laughs> All right, um, I'll get to work on that. Thank you. My pleasure. And uh, I'm gonna go drop off the glow vine with Persephone. Okay. Because she's, I'm sure, the best person to take care of this stuff. Oh yeah, <laughs> she. Um, well, it's Demeter. Persephone's Demeter. Her Demeter. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. I couldn't quite remember. Uh -huh. Um, but yeah, she, she, she takes it. She's like, oh, these are excellent specimens. Um, and you brought... cost 500 gold pieces. Whew. Hopefully they survive. Oh, I will. She said, I will make sure they survive. Um, Good. <laughs> please do. Uh, this will be excellent. Hopefully these will grow quickly. Um, all right. Uh, glow vine. It with Demeter. Have you seen um, Melanie and or Rain and or Shaddock, uh, ideally all three together in a convenient grouping? Uh, Family unit, maybe? Ah. Uh, she holds up a finger. Uh, you hear somebody shouting about being the master of skulls. They're oh over there. Lord, they're still they're playing skulls. that? It's been like four days. She... She's really into this Master of Skulls thing. Um, Demeter well, let's says. see. Uh, I like that with the she, you don't know which one of us you, she might be referencing. Yeah. <laughs> Any it could be group. either. I, um, I actually may have facilitated some of this. Um, oh, no, it's... No, uh, I, I had some mice skulls, and Shadok oh, was very... Yeah. I see. Yeah. Well, I mean, she's young, and... She's been in the ocean for a long time, so I'm sure all of these things on land are very new and exciting. Yes. Um, but yeah, they're they're over there. Probably inside in that wing over there. Okay. Uh, well, thank you, Demeter. Mm -hmm. No problem. Uh, I'll go grab Tegan and okay. say it is time. Oh, okay. 
Um, all right, he goes with you. Uh, you find oh. you find oh. the group. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> no, I get it. Um, what we do in my house. <laughs> Uh, there is a sh Shadok, um, with probably on top of, like, Melanie's shoulders at this point. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And probably rain close by. <laughs> if you want to get them in a unit. <laughs> Making sure nothing breaks. Yep. Also, I'm making acrobatic checks to catch everything. <laughs> yep, mm -hmm. pretty mm -hmm. much. It's like, no, don't break that <laughs> no, that was really oh, expensive. No. no. <laughs> but you you do find them. Um, okay. And Shadok's like, oh hi. Hello, Shadok. I'd like you to meet a very special friend of mine. And Tegan was like, hello, Miss Shadok. Uh, lovely to meet you. Um, my name is Tegan. And. And like Shadow's like Tegan, 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 Tegan. Cool. <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, and Tegan's like, um, looks at Zaitari, looks at you, Zaitari, looks back at Shadok. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. so I brought you, I brought you a few things, Shadok, uh, if, if you are, if, if, if Melanie and Rain don't mind, um, I have some, um, presents for her. Well, for uh, me and some, of, a few of the, a few of us at the, from the, um, from the treasure hunters. Of course, of course. Um. Uh, I will, I will set down the child. <laughs> Alright, uh, Shadok will- I look at Melanie and go, so many presents. <laughs> that is a long time ago. And I will, I will, like we need I will kind of bend down and, uh, and say to Shadok, now, remember what we talked about. Okay. And remember to say thank you. Mm hmm Um, she, uh, so, um, uh, uh, Tegan brings out a, a, uh, like, about four wrapped presents and he you know he you know gives he gives them to Shadok and Shadok looks at the box uh you have to unwrap it oh and Tegan looks at Zaitari <laughs> oh dear I told him yeah that this you, was a you, you told him yeah yeah you told him but he didn't know how far it went and he's like he's like <laughs> She's never seen a wrapped present before. Oh, um, she looks at it. She starts, um, and she does. She starts like trying to carefully take the wrapping paper off. I just say, just rip into it, dear. But it's so pretty. You. It's can much take... more fun if you go quick. Oh, okay. You can take it off whichever way you want, but make yeah, sure you stop at the paper. Don't don't keep going after you get to paper because it's who knows what's inside. Oh, okay, okay. Um, Rain looks at Melanie and is like, is this from personal experience? <laughs> <gasps> Paper! Six <laughs> words. Yes. Alright, so she starts Not unwrapping them a little more quickly. Um, still trying to take some care with the paper. Looks like she's going <clears> to <throat> use it for later. Um, ah, okay. She, uh, so she gets to the uh, art supplies. Um, she looks at them and is like, what's... And she pokes at oh, the... Oh, no, I was going to give those separately. Oh, all right, separately, okay. Um, so, she... The first present she unwraps is a, um... Kind of a... a, a, a like a, a rag... A ragdoll type doll. Um, one that doesn't break easily. Um, she looks at it. Uh, notices that the skin is blue. And, sa and says... She looks kind of like me. Meat. Just kind of holds it. Um, she the next present she unwraps is um is a like it is is like a set of uh some some marbles and she's like what do I do, uh, what do I do with these? 
you can play games with them. We can uh, play the games. Oh, okay. Um, and the third present she unwraps, she looks at it. It is a, um, it's a tiara. And she looks at it and she's like, oh, this is pretty. Um, it's, 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 it's a tiara made out of, um, it looks like a, like, a like steel. Um, and Zaitar, you immediately recognize this is probably something Tegan made. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hey, does it explode or anything? Tegan looks, at, no, 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 it's just, it, it's, it's just a, it's just a, it's a simple tiara. I, I thought she'd No, like the dagger to... cannons are for later. <sighs> Tegan just says, <laughs> "Make this." Uh, I was make it, Tegan. <laughs> I was hoping you'd forget about that. He says, "Oh, I'll never forget about it." <laughs> um, uh, Shalak will put the tiara with the skull mask on. Ooh, very good, very good. Um. And... Now, I have a few things to give you from your aunt Zaitari. Mm? Okay. Very fun aunt Zaitari. Um, so I'll take out kind of like a wrapped... It's like a cloth wrapping, so it's not like paper or anything, so she can use it okay. for like whatever she wants. Okay, like the, um, the Japanese style, like cloth. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. I figured it'd be easier to store the chalks and something like that anyways. Okay. Um. So, so hmm? this is chalk, uh, and you can draw with it. Uh, very easy to draw on things like stone and other hard surfaces. And bonus points, very easy to clean, as I look at Melanie and Rain. Very good. She, she takes it. There's so many colors. Yes, you should be able to... We create whatever your imagination uh, comes up with. I'm very excited to see what you uh, can do with these. I can draw so many skulls! Yes! There's a lot of space. Anything. I mean, you can draw skulls, but you can also draw other, other things. Yes. And if you... And I'll find, like, a red one and a blue one. And I'll say, let's... I can show you a trick with these two. <laughs> uh she is she she um she puts down the the chalk set and then she will hug both you and Tegan. Thank you. Now, this is a very special present mm -hmm. that I'm going to teach you how to use. But for now, you can just have fun with it. Okay. And I just take out the recorder she from my like bag she, of holding and hand it to her. She cocks her head and looks at it. So I'll sh I'll show the mouthpiece. You put that piece to your lips and then blow very gently. Ooh. And you hear there's like you know low kind of like un you know like I um not very pr well practiced like note coming out of it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and she's like. <gasps> and then you can put your fingers over the holes to make different sounds. Hmm. So she starts making noise with it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, have fun with that. Thank you. We can start uh, your lessons on how to uh, make very pretty sound. Uh that sound like very specific arrangements of music <laughs> uh, later this week. <laughs> I can't wait. And she's like, she, she hugs it to her chest. It'll be very, it'll be very fun. Natalia would be the archetypal cool aunt, you know? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You go talk to when you're mad at mom. <laughs> <laughs> so 
starts playing random things. <laughs> oh, this is going to be very fun. <laughs> I also feel like Zaitari is kind of stereotypical wine aunt, too. Oh, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, has Tilda gotten back yet? I'll ask, as I'm sure Shadok is now uh, discovering the recorder. Yep. <laughs> she is playing away. Tilda, so, somewhere... You it... found a new skull. <laughs> <laughs> So somewhere in the keep, you hear the echoing sounds of somebody playing a recorder badly. <laughs> With the gusto to make f- make up for the lack of skill. Mm. <laughs> yep. <sighs> I'll go looking for the noise to see if it's Theo that has bought. <laughs> um... <laughs> A new God recorder. It, Theo, we talked about this. I know. Right? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Theo. Nope, but you find the rest. You find Zaitari. And Tegan. Ah. Nice to see you again, Tegan. And, uh, welcome home, Zaitari. Oh, thank you. Lovely to see you again, Lady Matilda. Just Tegan. Um, how did everything go with. Uh, Theo's father. Um, how did it well, go? Well, um, thank you for asking. I've oh, been here for well. a few days, I, and I, <laughs> I also just wasn't really sure of the timeline. I, I know. thought when you also, said well, that you meant like your... you were about to say something, but you meant that it went well. Yes. Yep. Like you want? Okay. I thought it was a preface. Okay. Continue. No. It also, you've well. probably been busy with your new child. Yeah. As mm. they tend to take up a lot of time. Um. Uh, yes, he's, um, well, he was exhausted um, after the transformation. Um, but he's resting and he seems to be fully in um control of his faculties and honestly it's better than you could it's about as good as we could have imagined Uh, um better than like a miracle essentially that's wonderful it was definitely worth going. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. Yes, it was. And, um, my father-in-law has also, um, blessed the marriage as such. Um, at least he doesn't seem upset. Good. Yes. Well, you know, I, I didn't know how he would react. He just comes out of basically uh, the, a coma of the mind sort of thing that he's been in for months to find out that his son, his blessed only baby boy has married the enemy. (laughs) If he knew, and I'm sure Theo told him, that you took such strides to assist, I doubt that he could truly think you an enemy for long. Hmm. Or with much gusto or footing. Yes, well. Um. Who? Shaddock. Um. Not that you don't sound lovely. 
Yeah, but, but, oh, during this entire here. time, there's a yeah, recorder in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Um, not that you don't sound darling. Yes? Um, but, uh, who got you this lovely gift? Oh! I just, I just smile. Oh, sure, who it was. Saitari. It's great. I, I just have this big, the biggest shit-eating grin on my face. Shadow, mm. uh, why don't you go find, uh, is Deacon still here? I asked to the group. Oh no. <laughs> oh sh yeah, he's Why probably he's still around. No, my brain says nothing. <laughs> well, uh, why don't you go up go and practice outside so that you can share uh the music with nature? <laughs> she goes out. There we go. As you know, after she leaves, I look at Zaitari and I say Looks like I'll be staying at Theo's. Um, at, well, I'm going to start estate. teaching her how to use it tomorrow. I want her to have some More often. Uh, unbridled fun with it, mm. or at least a day. It made her very happy. So I am a firm believer in self-teaching. So I'm figuring out what you want to learn, and then. Learning it. But it is quite a racket. Yes. It's... Uh, there might have to be maybe time constraints to what time of day we can use that one. Well, that will be a decision made by her parents. Yep. Indeed. By the way, darlings, have you um, built out any sort of adoption paperwork? Not yet. Mm. You might want to get on that. Um, you don't want people thinking you've stolen her. <laughs> well, <laughs> did? that's very true. I can send a message to Thanic. Maybe get a recommendation for a lawyer to see what uh, steps need to be taken. I believe at this point she's considered an orphan, considering her mother is dead and her father is... Napsent? Napsent, yes. Yeah, well, I was going to say non existent, and that would be a lie. <laughs> I, I love Napsent. That's, uh. <laughs> I think she's got Napster as a dad. <laughs> yes, I would hope that that doesn't really count towards any sort of. Much. So, yes, um, I'll go into town and see about the paperwork. Uh, but in other news, Alexandria will be here in a few days to discuss a few things. So, she had sent me a message. I had sent her one earlier this week. So I just wanted to let you all know we're going to be having another visitor. We have the space. We do. There's a big keep. Mm -hmm. Somewhere in the background, you hear, Hey! You hear, Birds, I can sing too! <gasps> <laughs> oh, also, I wanted to say, Tilda, uh, while I was mm -hmm. in Vox, I bought um, some of that glow vine that you were <gasps> mentioning. I gave it to Demeter, and, uh, well... It needs to be cultivated. They're just seedlings, but... Oh. Well, uh, thank you. It, it was... It's the thought that counts. Um, I do wish they had been, you know, um, fully grown so that we could get going on that potion. Um, but... Uh, was it all that they had? Yeah, th it's, okay. that's all they had at the at at the time. Um, that's yeah, okay. that's fine. I, I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, believe me, I would have bought full plants, but all they had was seedlings, unfortunately. Um, but <sighs> uh, 
this druid exclusive? No, it's not. I can do plant growth. <laughs> Hmm. Just give me a day. And I'll prepare it. Ronnie could do that too. Cleric bow for all clerics? Uh, no, it says Bar Druid and Rain. Plank. Honestly, it's weird that I have it, but also not because I can also cast Regenerate. <laughs> so. Bards just get the weirdest shit, guys. <laughs> Really, really do. Yeah. And I was just, um. Whoa! What was that? My. It's one of those stupid ads. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. The hell is going on? <laughs> it's it's Shattuck, Shattuck found an extra button on the recorder. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying, um. Uh. One of the D and D guys that the bard magic is based like on Celtic traditions. Like, uh, I don't know. That might account for some of it. That explains yeah. a lot of it, actually. It, yeah, it does. Whew, sorry. Um. Anyway, so. Uh... Um. Tilda doesn't really have anything that she's going to do. She's just going to help Ronnie. Um, I imagine Nenreen points them towards, like, some random, like, spellers and stuff like that. You know, watch uh, Jane run, you know, <laughs> those kinds of things. Yeah. <laughs> um, so. Um, yeah. She'll spend... A certain amount of time each day uh, personally tutoring uh, Ronnie herself and then you know she'll talk to her uh, parents um, see if they can put out some feelers for a um, a tutor for a very young girl um, just starting school um, who is Adorable. Unfamiliar with a lot of life on land. No. Okay. Yeah, that too. Okay. Life on um, land. What do you mean? Yeah. Did she like grow up on a boat? Uh, yep. <laughs> yeah. Sure. That's it. Yep. Yep. That's it. Mom and dad. <laughs> um. Yeah. So, she'll put out feelers and. You know, very bright young girl, but. Uh, everything seems to be new. Very new. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. All right. Um, I think this is a good time to end it. Uh, we will have Alexandria come um, next session, and then mm -hmm. we'll have the auction. Um, mm -hmm. I have the list of stuff uh, that is going to be part of the auction. Um, it has been priced out with the um, reserve prices. Um, as as to how auctions work, mm -hmm. um, Tilda would know like a probably like a day before the auction, people can come in. Usually, there's like a mingling period. You can take a look at some of the stuff that would be on display. Um, she can invite whoever she wants uh, to the auction. I have a I do have a list that some people like some invitations were sent out. So mm -hmm. there'll be some people that'll be coming. Um But yeah, we can definitely could... her sister and um what was it, Pierre that um liked her? Uh mm -hmm. he... I actually it had that great. written down. It was one of the brothers, but I don't remember which yeah. one it was. I think it was no, no. Pierre. Yeah. So it was like the quieter one. Yeah. I think it was either Pierre or Francois. It's all, it's, all, it's I'll, I'll find it. I, I was like, yeah, yeah she's it's the younger one. Yeah. Too. So, um, could have wanted to inherit. Yep. But yeah, uh, we will pick up, uh, next, next game. Mm hmm. Good. That means I can actually choose my spells. 